Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing and potentially even ending our Assassin's Creed 2 playthrough. Last time we did a lot of things and also I was way over here, but then I restarted the game just back. Ah, it's probably not a good idea if they like, keep console games running eternally. And then it's like, fine, you shall be banished to Brazil. But yes, we did a lot of things last time. We finished the glyphs and revealed the truth. We completed the codex wall, which is apparently mandatory for, like, future things. Which I guess is understandable ever so slightly. And I believe that we've killed every single conspirator except for the Spaniard, the Borgia. Looks like I'm going to raise my volume, which is separate from the capture volume. It is things. Ah, money that is useless to me. I haven't even used the gun since I got it. Which is kind of a sad state of affairs. I should just embrace the going crazy and killing people thing and like actually use the gun, but the gun is slow and loud. So it makes brain not want to use it even though it is good. And I still don't understand why all the guards have occasional b randomly bloody models in such frequency at that. Because this definitely didn't happen in the uh, original version of the game that's like on PC, Xbox 360, and the like, the old version of the game. And I don't even know what would cause that in this remake because, well, not remake, this is like a remastering. Ever so slight bump in visual quality. Emphasis on slight. I just don't know what would cause it. It's utterly mad. <laughs> That aside, we are nearing the end, because there are only two more memory-like sequences left. Hilarious that we only got to jump out as our boy Desmond once. But let's see. Also, fun news. Well, that's obviously Altair's piece of Eden. Diddly dee. We haven't seen Mario in years. Taking it. Capture the cargo from the ship. But also, fun little thing, I'm going to be getting a new pair of headphones tomorrow. If it arrives. Tail the courier, why can't I kill him? Come on, let me just kill him. It'd be fun. You saw nothing. But in the meantime, I have been playing lots of... Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, and it is a treat now. I still think it falls under the, like, uh, what I call the Skyrim paradox, which is basically, if I am comparing, like, this brand new open world game, like, brand new, I mean, it, it is basically, like, ten years. Yeah, it's it came out nine years after frickin' Skyrim came out. And if I ask myself, which would I prefer playing, Skyrim or Cyberpunk 2077, then something is very wrong here. <laughs> it's still a good game, but it does kind of suffer from the fact that none of the, like, very few of the perks in Cyberpunk 2077 feel substantial. And even when they are, it's usually because it's in a series. Like, oh, you're able to craft, like, epic, ultra, and legendary quick hacks, or ultra and legendary equipment. It's like, it just runs into the problem of none of the perks really feeling unique, and rather... They're just a series or a stat-up. Like, sure, the 
Skyrim perks were also like that. Where they were like, ah, oh, you do like 25% more damage with one-handed weapons. Whereas in Cyberpunk, it's you... Alright, this guy is daring. Whereas in Cyberpunk, it's like, ah, you do 3% more damage. Which just feels off. And again, it's like, ah, this one aspect of thing is greater. All right. Which overall isn't terrible. It just feels like uh, when right, you're leveling up and getting perks, it should be like, ooh, this is epic and awesome and cool. Whereas uh, instead it's like, oh, I have a perk and uh, like a perk point and nothing to spend it on. <laughs> so yeah, enjoying Cyberpunk, but it still has issues of being nothing nothing groundbreaking after all the updates and stuff well let's say what it is after all of the uh, bug fixes and adjustments it's finally gotten to the point that it is a functional game i still ran into t posing uh, like main characters in the opening montage which was funny as fuck but and a few, like, things that are, like, ooh, this character is handing you a thing, and uh, the thing is invisible. Oh, I thought, I thought the thief that, wa that I hired and is now running was the courier. So I almost overtook the courier thinking that he was the thief. At least this is interesting. But yeah, if you are into open world first person shooters, I decently recommend Cyberpunk now. It still has issues, graphical things, characters clipping into cars, car spawns into a wall. Oh dear god, the whole choir! But. Again, it's nothing, like, groundbreaking like it was advertised to be. That's, I think, is the issue. It was Christmas rushed, promised far more than it ever could. Like, that's the thing. It basically promised to be this big old, big old thing. These big old, uh, tig old bitty. But it wasn't. It couldn't be. All who need aid are welcome here. It just... Oh, I thought I was going to have to do more. Will not suffer mistakes. Package it correctly. Do it now. The Spaniards here? That changes things. If I can infiltrate this group, take the place of the courier, they'll lead me right to the Filio di Putana. Distract them. Yeah, cyberpunk is... You're not people. You're supposed to forget... Also, I think they spawned into... I think they doubled. While I wasn't looking. Which is mildly amusing. But fine, I'll just have to climb over. In quick succession. But I didn't do anything wrong, and you can't prove it. I'm hanging on a wall. You literally aren't angry anymore. That is very odd. You climbed, how dare. Are they going to get angry if I climb over here too? Maybe they just like really want me to use this ladder. Or will they see that and go, how dare. Man, it would be nice if I had like fucking throwing knives that could kill dudes. That would be... That'd be a treat. I frickin' miss my good throwing knives. 
That is the one thing that I super miss. I miss my throwing knives being good. I would like to lock on. There we go. And by air assassinating a man, I instantly take his clothes. Take that quick change, artists. Also, this is not at all what uh, a uh, agile mm. yes, character sir. is. Then again, I guess it's like, oh, great courier. Stay in formation. Like, the, the agile right. guy delivered the thing, and then the courier himself was somebody else. That's possible. But we killed the agile guy. Assassinate the Spaniard. Uh, kind of misses a bit of, uh, like, impact, because I know that's not going to happen. Rodrigo Borgia exists in the next game. I am no fool. I am ready to follow you. Hmm. Hammer and mace. Different from the hammer and sickle that I'm used to. Also hilarious. His name is Guard. You know, for a group of people that don't want to have their things drop and break on the ground, they really veer close to people. Salute. Salute. Yeah. Why are there so many dudes carrying boxes running right at me? Why? They literally were coming right at me with intent to murder. What the fuck? That's a very rude game. I hate. I hate these little dudes. Like, seriously, there had to be like eight of them all converging at me. And right as I was going to finish my thought that started like ten minutes ago, which was basically Cyberpunk 2077 is now a typical open world game glitches and all. You'll see people lean into walls. Is he going to know I am uh, Altair and run immediately? Probably. Do you really have it? You were not followed. Absolutely. Or am I going to kill him right now? Perfectly. We have followed your like the guard. Exactly as specified. The mission to Cyprus was... Oh. Ezio. It's been some time. Huzzah. I wonder what would happen if I didn't click that in time. Rodrigo. So, where is he? <laughs> Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. <laughs> he probably believes himself to be the prophet. For, for what's in this box? What's and in look, the box? There's nobody here. <laughs> you claim not to be a believer. Yep, he thinks he's the prophet. You see him? The prophet is already here. I am the prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. No bother trying to kill him, because game definitely wouldn't allow it. He Again. fell for it. The fool. How can you kick in that robe? Get me. Come on. Just, it's less sword fighting and more punching than anything. I block, I punch. I block, I punch. Is this what uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla bosses will be like? Glorified versions of uh, bullet sponges? Can 
I grab you now? No, I cannot. And I also doubt that the game would let me disarm you. Let's play around. Nope, game would not let me disarm you. That would have been funny, though. Is this all you have? Where is the rest of your people? What people? You really have no idea, do you? Guards! And suddenly, he has all of his health back. <laughs> Take this man very, very seriously. I'm trying to focus down the Seeker so we can't properly... He's dead. I don't think they should be able to instant counter me on my first hit. Kind of defeats the point of even attacking a little bit. It's not a big thing, it's just an existence. A terrible one. Although I guess this does speak to the Spaniard's skill. He's able to exist better than the guards. Uncle. <laughs> Don't worry, you are not alone. not alone. I already killed all these guys. Olpe? What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. So basically, I accidentally ran into every... Assassin in Italy, it seems. Now you all shall die. Throw more agiles at me. Big guy. Dang it. Take him down, it. Oh, that works. I stab you with a pole. He swept me right off my feet. He must be my beloved. How can I? I can't even do a sweep. I've been trying to do a sweep, but I game won't let me. That guy almost got the achievement of sweeping three enemies at the same time. Quit sweeping me. There we go. That works with me. Now gang up on him. Don't give him a chance. Beat him up. Uh, kill a Spaniard in a back alley who thinks himself a prophet. How highly specific. Your brothers didn't need to die. That is hilariously evil of you. You want to go one more? I punch you in the face again. Come on. Quit kicking me. I'm the one who kicks. Low. Again with the kick. Paula. He's gone, but we have what we came for. No. I need to go after him. Do you really now? I literally ran into every assassin along the way. Theodora. What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your prophet. He never showed up. No? Am I the prophet? What? A prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us... Who even are you? you are. 
Perhaps all along, you were the one we saw. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo. Machiavelli. Machiavelli. I know that name. I am Don't an know assassin. anything else, though. Trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? Paola. Volpe. It's true, Nipote. We have all been guiding you for years. You could have just come out and told them. You're like, join our ranks. hey, I know your uncle. Let me help you. Time. We have a prize, but there is much to be done. Come I guess that explains how us. all of them knew, and like, knew me and like, oh, we have to help them. Ah, that's that was a very nice tower. <laughs> that was a very nice tower. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth. Nothing is remember, true. Nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law. Everything remember, is permitted. Everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, Nothing is, is true. true. Everything, Everything is permitted. permitted. I wonder if they ever drop that in later games. I kind of forget it. In this it. modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors, but our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one of us now. Come. We can't even we see have it. Much to do. Seeing them all do the leap of faith is hilarious. There they, there she is, the flying nun. Uh, I don't. Th that's just an amusing thing. Also, none of them got the distance needed to get to the uh, pile of hay. Hilarious. Apple of Eden acquired. I am a god now. Venetian cape. Memory seat. Sequence 11. Ever so slightly hilarious, if you ask me. Look for white sheets. Oh, hey. Almost didn't expect to have okay? another one out. Do you want to stop? No. I need to go back. So right close now. to the end. And we're just gonna go right back in! Oh hey! It's me! Last night! Hmm, I can't... Uh, oh. What is it, Sean? Oh dear. Sean? Of course. How could I have forgotten? You wanna share with the rest of us? Rodrigo Borgia is elected Pope in 1492, which means Ezio's greatest enemy is now also the most powerful yep. man in Italy. Lord. Always wanted to visit the Vatican. <laughs> well, you know, Sin Desmond, happy days. I love I Sean. You going. He's an ass, but I love him. The sarcasm dripping from him, and there was UI for a second. There was UI. I love that they brought it to Leonardo. Absolutely fascinating. What is it? Everything. Leonardo? What does he do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the sun. You mean the sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple of forbidden knowledge. Are you it's then magical. suggesting that this thing... I like how Leonardo is, like, the only one that isn't, like, super disturbed by it. He could understand. This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannons. 
and our allies. Not anymore. Be well, we not anytime in the in the not so far off future. Bad things are gonna happen to Forley. I read that bio. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. I read the bio. Bad things happen to Forley. Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. Again, I love that Leonardo is like, at first just mildly put off, and he's like actually looking at the symbols. You showed me that tooltip twice. But yeah, Forley's gonna get invaded. The lady is going to be stolen away. Bad things are going to happen to her. Bad things. And suddenly I'm in Foley. Identify special memories. The fuck? I don't remember these. Are these memories thir uh, 12, 13, and such? Because we go 11 to 14, I believe. So... What be this? Because I do not recall this. I do not remember... This... So let us see what kind of memory this is. At the very least, it's not going to be just, oop, I accidentally instantly finished the game. But now we run into the risk of it being, oop, I ax... Climb up, Ezio. I accidentally kept the game going for far longer. Yes, I know. Game, that is something I've been doing this entire time. Those mar you already told me that game. What is this special memory? <laughs> Just suddenly air machine! Uh... I don't know the purpose of this. I'm just suddenly on a flying machine. Who lit the bonfires? I don't fucking know. I don't know where the goal is. If there even is a goal. Um... I don't even know where I'm going. Just follow the fires. Is this just a funny aha you can do? This could, It said memory. This is specifically a memory. A special memory, sure, but... I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what the goal is. Uh, Ezio just suddenly got into a flying machine and decided to uh, summon bonfires. Or is this just, hey, did you not get the an achievement? Is that what that is? It did say I can get off it whenever. Is there a goal for this, or is this just random free-flying? This is just random free-flying! Interesting! But <laughs> confusing as all hell! Alright, interesting. Just, hey, you want to fly Leonardo's flying machine again? Here! Just, no context, no purpose. I just killed a Forley guard by kicking him off a tower for no other than reason than I could. I need to, I need to steal a horse. There's a horse right here. But, yeah. 
There was no goal. That was just, hey, you can free fly around, which I guess is neat, but it shouldn't be labeled a special memory. I don't understand it at all. I don't get it, but okay, sure. Now I need to make it all the way back to the proper memory. Which I could have sworn it wasn't this far away, but... Here it is. Sorry, I just went and kicked one of your guards off a tower. Uh, don't mind. Let's read. Unarmed prophets have always been destroyed, whereas armed prophets have succeeded. These cynical words were written by Niccolo Machiavelli, one of the greatest minds of the Renaissance. Considered a pioneer of realist philosophy, he believed that all men are evil and will act upon their vicious nature, if given the chance. The third son of a Florentine attorney, Machiavelli, was tutored by his father in grammar, rhetoric, and Latin. In 1494, he entered government service as a clerk and an ambassador. Made a member of the Florentine Diplomatic Council, he was sent to the court of France, Spain, and Rome between 1499 and 1512. From 1503 and 1506, Machiavelli was put in charge of the Florentine militia and the city's defense. He recruited citizens for his militia, preferring men who had a stake in Florence's continued success to... <coughs> ah! Excuse me. My throat trying to murder me. He recruited citizens for his militia, preferring men who had a stake in Florence's continued success to dispassionate mercenaries. His strategy seemed to work in 1509 when Florence defeated Pisa. Machiavelli continued to participate in Florentine government after the Medici family was chased out. But when the Medici returned, they arrested and tortured him. He was accused of conspiring against them. Unable to find any wrongdoing, the Medici exiled Machiavelli. He retired to his estate in Santa Andrea, where he wrote his famous works, The Prince, The Discourses of Livy, and the Florentine histories. Machiavelli died in 1527. His place of burial remains unknown. My allies, the Medici, he tortured my boy? Huh. I wonder if he saw the Medici well, as a risk. Well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but an assassin. Mm. And I was kind of decently into my career as an assassin by then. Let's go to the fort. Walk with me, Caro. You're going to love Forley. The cannons and Archicadella you can, you can, alone go back a hundred years. Game. I know what that the means. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband's before, of course. He died. Oh. Sorry. Law. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> We discovered Girola Moriario was working for the Templars, making a map of the location. Well, too bad I already got all of them. Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain Lol. in my ass. Look. Oh, no. Um, yeah, is this the, <laughs> the invasion of Forley? But I distinctly remember that being bad yeah everyone's running and we don't seem to care Aspetta. What's up? we're being invaded they came as soon as you left the city walls signora the city is under attack what by who the Orsi brothers signora oh sangue di Giuda yeah who are they the Orsi the same canal <laughs> I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have well, no time to go murder. bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. So yeah, this is the invasion. Ah, oh, that's the big guy out.
Get out of here. But yeah, very bad things await you, Katarina. I am <laughs> loath to say very bad things. So I need to open the gate for you, huh? Is that where the flying machine's gonna come in? They're already inside. Double crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta. Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey, you! Yeah, I'm talking to you. You spineless dogs. You occupy my city, my home. You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? Hilarious. So all the, like, normal guards are like, fuck. Or maybe my sword. And now there are no guards here. Don't even think there was a reason for me to do that. I thought the, like, the actual thing would be there. Nope. At least this explains... A well, no, not really. I was gonna say, oh, this explains why there's an assassin tomb here. Nah, not really. Yeah, that's also closed. Uh huh. We should return a little bit faster, but what can you do? It's a motherfucking gondola. Oh, I can... Oh yeah, I forgot I can swim under. It's... Uh, that is the first time this has been used, like, in a main thing. And, like, second time in the game overall, and I've been doing all the major side content. Excommunication? Eh, uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry, it's just a war going on, guys. I wonder who it is that's... like, uh... heralding. Why are all the Forley guards getting their asses beat? The fuck are you talking you about? Wish you could touch them. You wish you could lick them, don't you? Well, come on down here and give it a try. Like a real man. And I'll kick your balls so hard they fly out your nostrils! I get the taunting, but it's a little extreme there, Katarina. How, how did they even afford, like, this number of guards? to take over an entire goddamn city. How many mercenaries do you need to do that? That was already, like, killing a bunch of dudes that were, like, against the assassins anyway. Well, not really against assassins, but, like, against the Medici, which... All in all, we're kind of the same thing for the most part. I have no choice but to accept. Get to safety inside the Rocca di Rava, uh, Ravaldino, Katarina's citadel. We're protecting Katarina while com protecting them. Yes. For some reason, my brain was like, no, 
Oh, I was probably the too much, uh, cyberpunk, because my brain was, ooh, block and then counter it, like the fist combat. Don't mind me, I'm just one of the crowd. Oh, I was I was aiding your soldiers! I just wanted to aid your soldiers! Meanwhile, your soldiers don't seem to be wanting to aid you. They got Big gun, Satan. Brutal, but necessary. I found her! No offense, but your guards kind of suck. Don't seem to have any care about saving your soldiers. No, get to the get to the citadel. Nothing else. Jesus Christ! How many of them are there? Well, at least, once again, the poorly guards getting in the way. Damn you! You don't care. Aprite la porta! Aprite la porta! They're in there, aren't they? It's an ambush. <laughs> You're working for the Orsri brothers, aren't you? No good doctor would do business in Forley without the original owners. This bootleg city is terrible. Not exactly what I wanted, but sure. Not my fault that your guards are trying to murder me. Whee! They were in on it. But where are Bianca and Ottaviano? Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here. With me. We shall assassin together. How did they even breach the fort? Why do they get to come in from the outside? I can't even scale those walls. Sure I could. Um, uh, oh, that's what that is. I was wondering what that was. Is that a, hey, don't let them in here thing? Like they would try to breach through there or something? That was my first goddamn attack. Get out of here. Where did you even come from, my dude? Good job. 
Where do you keep coming from? Be gone. Again, maybe they came with, like, wall scaling equipment, grappling hooks, ladders, but there was a moat. So I don't know entirely. Again, my first bloody attack. I get, like, oh, you're spamming attack. We're gonna have them counter you, but, like, why my first one? feels meaningless and rude. You don't even get to damage them. Get out of here. Be gone. I am anonymous. Oh, why do they care? Why do even do they care? <laughs> Katerina! Katerina Sforza! I know you're in there. I have something you may want back. Are you missing any Assholes. children? And Ezio Auditore. What a pleasure. Are you going to show off their heads? I take it you would the be the children's Orsi brothers. Ludovico and Ketko at your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go. Of course, Signora. We'll happily give them They're back Templars. They will give them yours, back, but only their heads. A certain map and a certain apple, brother. See, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? Harsh! I give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You make have demands and then give them time frame when there's an assassin here, like Ezio. <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See. But again, Not they're Templars. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Keep this safe, he says. Ah, oh, is that... Ah, oh, that's what's gonna happen. They're still gonna get her. Because history. Yes, yes, yes. Special memories, they exist. Quit. I wish there was a way of turning off the goddamn tooltips. I don't care anymore. They mean nothing, especially when they are literally saying the same goddamn inane bullshit. You shouldn't be up here. What the devil are you doing up here? It's just inane. Heedily he, you can do this. This exists, this is what this means. I don't fucking care. You randomly jumped off and lost him. What a fool. And that is what happens when you mock Ezio Auditore da Farinze. Then I can get onto these gondolas and presumably jump back onto land. Game. game.
Again, I ever lament my poor throwing knives. How'd you fuck, fuck your omnipotence, asshole? I hate archers because they can't even be dealt with nicely anymore. Heedly he, we're gonna fucking butcher throwing knives. But look, we have a gun. Ah, yes, that thing that's going to fucking alert everybody. I hate it. The gun is so fucking worthless. Give me back my throwing knives. <laughs> that's honestly probably the reason why they upgraded it. Or, like, downgraded the... Fuck off. Fuck off, archer bastards! I hate you! Fuck off! So much bullshit! I know exactly where you are, even if you're not running. Fuck off. A pox on the AI designers. Interesting. And are you gonna... <laughs> but yeah, the stupid little bullshit like that. Give me back my goddamn throwing knives. Oh no, they take two throwing knives now, thus making them completely fucking worthless. My favorite. Why have something that's actually useful when it's a fucking goddamn boring gun that can only be used six times, takes forever, and oh, by the way, it also makes a loud noise so it can't even really be used. My favorite. It's everything, it's my favorite. Something that's useless. Game, you can kindly fuck off. Climb the stupid little building. Get up, you. Get him. Fuck off, game. Oh, he was just going to just shut the fuck up. I don't care. You want to see your boy walk again, Katarina? Give us what we want. Are you practicing? At least this archer was nice and decided to stay the fuck still. You think he cares? Fuck off, guards. How you even know I'm up here? Climb, Ezio. At least this makes sense. Game down, because it's fucking archers. They're gonna make. I know you. Stop acting like a baby. Where are your balls? For a moment, I thought he was gonna stop at that little break. Game, there's a guard there. Fucking assassinate him. Basta, basta, you're giving me a headache. This is your last. Goodbye. I wanted to throw him off, but the game wouldn't let me. Katerina was a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his prize. I can see that. Muori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Now where's the other brother? How are you even gonna get down, Lin? Game, nobody fucking cares about this dude. For some reason, my brain is just like, you'd think that you would untie them, not speak to them. But that's just me and my 
brain of, oh, hey, that should be an action, not a talk. So, yeah, we're going to get back, and more than likely, Katarina will have been taken for her horrible, horrible fate in Rome. And nope, no ladders or grapple hooks that I can use from the invaders that, again, can scale walls that I can't. I'm not bitter. It's just kind of stupid, if you ask me. Oh yeah, that thing that you'd want to do, you know, scale those walls, but we told you that you couldn't. Yeah, about that. <laughs> The enemy can do it, but not you. And yes, there's the way in. I don't fucking care, game. Why? Hey, did you know about these markers? I only told you like three times now, so what you know? Fuck off, game. A pox on the people who designed the tooltips. Hey, did you know that viewpoints? Like, yes. I am like 20 hours into this game. I know about the base fucking mechanics. You dipshits. And there doesn't seem to be a way to turn them off either, which is highly aggravating. It's one thing if you could be like, oh, would you... Like, I honestly feel like games should have like... S like three settings for tooltips absolutely new which they might play like repeats of certain tooltips every now and again just in case like experience tooltips so like it'll only pop up once and then never again because you have a brain and then just off where you don't care game is an asshole What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked And again. you all survived. Kedko Orsi. He has the apple. What? No. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> we chased him out here. But we should have just kept the apple the on me. I'm going. He wouldn't have gotten it. And suddenly I'm notorious again. Come on, go away. Come on, die already. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. You don't even add anything. Again, I miss my goddamn throwing knives. <laughs> so I assume I need to kill him now. Wish I could actually aim it. Close. Come on. That is such a wide range. Give me a reticle game if you're gonna give me a fucking gun. I'm gonna do this because fuck you game. 
We're gonna have a gun that you can't fucking aim. Ah, uh, my favorite. I've been locked onto that one, dude. Five billion times. And there doesn't seem to be a way to get rid of it mid, so you know you have to do this fucking rigmarole. So fucking close. And I'm never gonna get that close again. Already know. Game. Back off. That is not even remotely close. Game. And again, I just want my fucking... I want my throwing knives back. I miss them. I miss my throwing knives tails. Assassin's Creed. We're gonna absolutely ruin throwing knives because we're gonna give you a gun and then we're never gonna give you a good opportunity or even controls. Like, I understand it being just damn so slightly. That should have killed him. Game says no, we're also gonna give you a gun and we're gonna tell you when you can use it. What are you, game? It's like there's nothing you can even really do because. Oh, yeah, because all the guards totally are like, mm, up there. Fuck off, game. I am not in the mood. You took away my goddamn throwing knives. I'm angry at you, game. I want to do cool shit, and the game says, no, you don't get to. Go the fuck away. Oh, but I'm mildly curious. Fuck you. Fuck you. Go away. Fuck off, search boy. Again, miss my goddamn throwing knives. He mildly sees me. Hmm, that must be him. There we go. You're not even gonna get a chance to run, asshole. If I'm gonna be found out, you're gonna die doing it. So, you have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> a prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Honestly, that's almost crueler, doing it very slowly. Why does he get, like, a unique confessional? Oh, that's why. Because Ezio gets stabbed by doing that. Even though, hilarious, the one guy that I shoot with a gun is the guy that stabs me while he's dying. Friggin' hilarious. Also, why is there an Apple of Eden right on my belt when the Apple of Eden is over there? Wait. Don't. Who are you? Stop. Don't open it. The irony. The first guy that I kill with a gun. Outside of the, hey, this is the kill with a gun mission. The one time. Is the one time that it, he canonically went up, stabbed him in the throat, and got stabbed. Ezio, thank God you're back with us. Oh, hey, his girlfriend from the beginning. Also, he grew a beard. In the intermeaning time. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills. Next to Keku Orsi's dead body. In the hills, they say. It was right outside the, the the city. Wait. There was a third man. He took the apple. I don't know. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... A missing finger. 
See. Nope, it's Katarina, Katarina, my brain. I have to go. My right away. It's just, this didn't feel like Forley anymore. Then you will need this as well. For some reason. And also, again, the beer the threw me off. Of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the location I already got them all. the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. Again, where did the you know, beard come from? I get it, he was out for a bit, but that's such a well-groomed beard. I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. But yeah, just like for whatever reason, that kind of like a uh, place with like all the trappings just did not make it feel like a a forly place. Well, off I go all the same. What have I done? Why is there a door in this wall? Like, without even a... Like, a... Permanent landing to step off of. No, it is a... Just a... Scaffolding. That doesn't seem very safe. Neither does the exist. You can actually push the loot boats? Interesting. No idea why they programmed in pushing the loot boats. Special memories. No, quit showing me that! It is like the sixth fucking time. I already did the special memory. There was nothing to it! You moron! But... Dude. Oh. I left the area. I left the area you patrol, assholes. I left the area you patrol, go away. Yeah, this is going to be the second time we kill a monk man. Luckily, none of these guys seem to be holding swords. Is he on the building? Game? Oh, I need to kill these guys. Oh. L the yeah, sure, game. That's totally what I want to do. I thought I needed to assassinate that man, because he's a monk. Kill him. <laughs> kill him, game. Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. Another monk. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? I didn't. Quite sure. He didn't grip the Domingo piece of Eden with his toes. His entire left arm, he's like. Again, quite sure there was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black-robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. But why are you even Grazie. being beaten up? Go in peace, bro. Is that just a slight reference? This guy has an entire thing dedicated to him. Blah 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 blah. Ten years hunting and raiding British settlements. Blah 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 blah. Da da da. Number da da. Da 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 da. Blah blah blah. Diddly 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 diddly. Repeated attempts to convert townspeople while within a drinking house. Hilarious. Just. Odd that he is given a bio entry. But yeah, more than likely that was just a reference to, well, reference, homage, whatever, of the saving monks from being beaten up by local guard missions in Assassin's Creed 1. That just, that's the only thing that makes sense. Why was he being beaten up by the guards? 
because the first game did that, and this is the only place we're going to do that in this game. It just feels weird. And also, I'm very annoyed that guards can be like, Oh, he's coming to stab me in my face. I shall deflect. Like, I understand if it's, like, immediately... Like, not immediately, but, like, I understand if it's, like, at the start of combat. Like, no, that brain is just, like, mixing things, because as it is, it is very angry. But, essentially, I understand if it's, like, in the midst of combat. If it's, like, the first time... Like, it's been a bit. And we're fighting. Yeah, sure, I understand the game not wanting to just go, like, Oh, yeah, you can't just cheese the combat. But at the same time... Ever so slightly annoying when they realistically shouldn't be able to just go, He has a hidden blade and he's coming for my face, I shall deflect him. Like, at least make him lose health by me stabbing his hand. That would be nice. Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... <laughs> Unholy... Demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed brothers! Is that the conspirator? Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! Game what Game! I hit What the fuck? Stop fucking stumbling. Game, I hate you. That was whack as all hell. Please, no. I don't want to die. I only kill those who kill others. And your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? Give me his location. I did. He was one of Let us. me murder him. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Be thankful that this wasn't Altair. Altair. <laughs> It, he was like, yeah, if I'm gonna run into a person, interrogate them, I'll stab them. Ezio is a good boy. But I still don't understand why he basically freaking teleported. I wanted to go tackle him, and then the game was like, no, you fly away like a bird. Hey, Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try What busted it? memory? What busted? Oh, you mean the codex. Is that what you mean? The codex wall? What busted memory? I do not understand. Again, what busted memory? But the... Ah, uh, Ezio's family. 1497. Did we just jump out nearly 10 years? That's what it feels like. Then again, I'm bad with numbers. Meet up of Machiavelli in the Altrano district of Florence. Can I put on the Medici cape to no longer? Cannot equip during this memory. Hilarious. Wait. In that case... Oh, that's... I forgot. That was an entire outfit that you can wear. Do you just want to be Altair? If Piero had only a tenth of his father's talent, we'd still have some place to call home. Am I just gonna have to kill all these guards? I don't see any courtesans. It's high alert. I don't think we can scale any walls nearby. Oh, we, no, that wouldn't work, though. Walking back and forth, I don't think 
blending in with people gets you through walls. So unless they turn right back around, I don't believe that that's possible. Like, yeah, I understand that that's how it worked in Assassin's Creed 1, but I swear to God that's not how it works in Assassin's Creed 2. Well, let's give it a whirl, why don't we? Nope, these guys do not... Oh, no, are we returning around? Let's see if it works. I'm even wearing the right colored clothing to do this. I'm gonna... They're probably gonna get angry at me. Nope. Could have sworn that's not how it worked. Or maybe that's the only way it works for this part of the game. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes the game is just like, nope, that's not how things work today. Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look the at fuck? all the his rod. Am I just getting ambushed? <laughs> Why do you... Die. What even the hell? Apparently other fighting's going on as well. So I guess not... Holy crazy. I don't even know who they're fighting. Is there a civil war in Firenze today? That's what it feels like. Get him! I just saved you from these guys. I don't know what's going on. They were fighting to the death. I saved them, and they got angry for it. Hello there, Esper. We are currently getting randomly ambushed in Florence as I go to kill a monk. But apparently even the citizenry don't like him, so I think it's okay. Just random guards are like, eh, I want you to die. Usually they have like... Some warning. Now these guys have like a psychic freaking connection to be like, kill him! Come on, attack me. Very rude game. Seriously, what is with the city? It is like a kind of foggier than usual. At least it feels like it. Fucking attack me? So I can kill you? If I get him ambushed one more time, I'm just going to ignore all of them and just keep going. I get it. I'm notorious. But at least let make them see me first before they come charging at me. And again, I can't even go save the other guards from themselves because the guards are like, ah, you killed, you saved us from our, <laughs> our allies. Well, I brought that one on myself, but still. Into the river I go. They'll never look there. And then I need to get onto the bridge anyway. How of all things work? At least I can climb this bridge. <laughs> Hello, what madness befall the city, Machiavelli? Salve, it's you. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. That is true. Several but that was your stream, Esper. Yes. No doubt aided As we watch books burn. Contract. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? We make pleasant small talk as the city burns. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once revealed. Wow, you are power walking faster than... Then I can, dude. The apple. My, the or worst thing. Part. It's not the city he's in front, but its leaders, men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens. I hate it when games are like your allies can walk faster and than you. As if they have no say in the matter. Why can't Where they be just the as fast as me? To oppose the status quo, and so it falls to us to help them see the truth. He said all kinds of things, and I missed it. 
Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually. But by now. Says, yeah. Then he knows they are as well. An unfortunate complication. Hope by now. Falling. So this is a crusade. Or it could just be personal soldiers. More and more just random, hey, we're gonna find you and hurt you. You know, I wouldn't be nearly as bothered if the game just didn't keep doing that since I got here. People walk the streets in this crazy city? You have annoyed me, therefore you must die. Be gone, Satan. Die. No need to do that. But I am anonymous. It's my allies who are being stupid. And of course the game's like, oh, we're gonna put the thing right here where all the guards are. That's stupid. At least a lot of them are getting scared away. That's a bonus. So I don't have to deal with all of them. That's all. Big on. I just know all these guards are gonna respawn. That's just how these games work. I guard, because he was attacking me, he hits my ally. I don't even need to do that, I'll just kill you that way. The game says no cheese, I say all the cheese. Alfredo. And now time to raise them from the dead, more than likely, as they say, look at this, that's where he is with all those guards. And we just did that. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own, correct? Oh, so that kind of explains it. The Medici get thrown under the control of... The Diddly D. No wonder. The city leaders, the Medici, get taken under the control of the Apple. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They so, he was against the city you. leaders, for good and reason. I'll take care of his Jesus Christ, that's a lot of... <laughs> At least it's just go kill these people, but... Jesus! Ah, so this is where at least some of the other towers are. Don't know why there were... The diddly d glitches, but sure game. <laughs> A young man has been climbing. Yeah, that's me. Be gone. I want to walk around like a normal person. Heck off, normal people. Are you trying to impress the ladies? Say that again and I will murder you. You are getting in the way of important saving the city business. So are all nine lieutenants their own memory? Honestly, ever so slightly annoyed with that. There's not even going to be anything in this district, is there? How many towers will there be in this district of hell? An unforgivable amount, it seems. There does not need to be... Game? Game? Why are you an utter failure? 
Ah, yes. The player jumped up, fo jumped forward from the synchronization point. Better not function. Better not function today. Jesus Christ. I do not remember the controls being this shitty when I played the original. This being a little remaster, you have to wonder, did they fuck it up somehow? And again, there does not need to be... Then again, I don't remember this mis these missions at all. I remember, like, Le Volpe. I remember a decent amount of most things in the game. But for whatever reason, I don't remember this. Even though I do know that I beat the game. I do know that. Let's see if it happens again. I think all of my deaths will be to fall damage. Every last one of them is gonna be to goddamn fall damage. There's only- oh. I highly doubt it, but it would be f no, because it couldn't be. My brain was going- and what with the glitches? Why the glitches? They do not need to exist. Fuck off. Come, come. Don't like, I get it, we're in the Animus, and those are Animus glitches, but fuck off. They don't need to exist. And I was going to say that it would be ever so slightly funny if more paintings became available, but that wouldn't happen because we got all the paintings and all the other places and they do it by city, not by district. It's just that it's been so long since we've been to a new place, quote unquote, that my brain was just like, ooh, all new things? Answer is no. And again, I do not remember this sequence at all. I don't really remember, like, I kind of remember the attack on Forley, maybe? But I do not remember the Mad Monk coming and like, coming back here. And again, what's with the uh, glitches? Diddly dee. Again, I know they're animus glitches, but come on. We'll get this one. Well, we'll just finish off this entire district of. Diddly dee. Viewpoints. And then we'll start doing the lieutenants. Which seem to be. Which will. Apparently, will just be like mini assassination contracts. More than likely. Which makes me all the happier that I didn't do all the assassination contracts if we're just gonna run in and do nine of them back to back as a main story mission. And again, I don't remember this. I do not remember coming back to Florence. And being like, and now you must do all of this. I... Don't, I don't know why. I just I don't know why I don't remember this. Rather, I remember... I do remember, like, going after Rodrigo Borgia. So, yeah. I don't, re I don't really remember the attack on F Forley. I don't remember this at all. Just, it feels odd. Get down, or I'll throw you down. You You'd think I would remember this. Remember the mad monk. I was gonna get very angry there for a second. Gonna get very annoyed. <laughs> but since we're here, we might as well do this one. Hope it doesn't take us super far away. Reject the base and material. Seek salvation in the flames. Also, this. And again, this kind of feels like a repeat of another Templar we killed. 
back in Altair's day, and I really fucking wish I miss my my poor poor. Where even are you? He's all the way over there. The game is very finicky. And now you will die. And if others might gaze upon my creations and see something of the Lord within, well, would they not be also brought closer to him? And so I thought myself... Yeah, this... Oh, my mind just immediately went to after I went, hmm, you know, this is very similar to that uh, guy who was burning all the books and stuff in Assassin's Creed 1. There are nine lieutenants. Is this just going to be a rapid fire boss rush of little archetypes of all of the Assassin's Creed 1 assassination targets? That's what it feels like. What have I done? What have I done? Your actions were not your own. But they were. My own self-doubt let him... So he even kind of admits it. Interesting. I am sorry. As am I. Non è una scelta. Il compio a cuor leggero. You get a small little... And now I must flee. I am literally running away right now. Eh, I was hoping. And despite not seeing me, you're gonna throw rocks at me. Back off, game. Uh, no, they should be able to catch you. Just let me get on with the game. What? I just killed one lieutenant. And then I saw all of my, like, allies walking in a line. That was disturbing. And again, with the animus flashes. But yeah, I just get the feeling that this is a weird rapid-fire XP homage of Assassin's Creed 1 shit. A guy who's obsessed with burning things in alignment with the Templars. A monk getting beaten up by city guards that you need to get... That, like, granted, he gives you information and not the ability, but to, like, uh, go between guard checkpoints without getting into a fight. And then the odd thing where instead of hiring courtesans or thieves to distract the guards... You walked in with scholars. Which is not something that you do anywhere else in the game. Again. I don't remember this. Was this some kind of you play thing? Is that what it is? Is these you are these you play missions that I never played because back when I played Assassin's Creed 2 for the first time on Xbox 360, I couldn't activate Uplay because our Xbox 360 wasn't connected to the internet. It just feels very weird and odd. I don't remember this section of Florence. I don't remember this mission. And I just do not know. Again, I don't really remember the 
Forley invasion. I don't remember all of this. Is that just going to happen every single time I open and close my map now? Because I don't remember that. Maybe I'm just getting becoming hyper aware of all the things I don't like in this game for some reason. Because I don't remember it at all. I don't remember so many things in this goddamn game. Game. I know. Wish I could turn off the goddamn tooltips. Ah, uh, yes, contextual jumping is my favorite. Keep away, you Why is it so shit in this game? I don't think I fell to my death once in Assassin's Creed 1. Non si passa. Do you hear me? Until you've all submitted and given yourself over to the prophet, Savonarola, this bridge will remain closed to you. Nah, this guy doesn't seem like a... Arch nemesis. But... I don't remember this guy being... Why are there so many guards? I'm just annoyed because I can't fucking use my throwing knives on these assholes. Game. There are way too many goddamn guards. This is a chance for us to turn over a new leaf, to leave behind our miserable past, and return to simpler times. I am here to Jesus help. fucking to Christ. You into a new and once again, I do not Only remember any of this. Why are there so many goddamn guards? I fear you'll have to contend with more than just a shuttered bridge. Understand my intention is not to threaten. I merely seek to open your eyes to a greater truth. That times are changing. No, that times have Game. <laughs> Why was there a mini invisible wall there? I hear you moaning and complaining. You say you have things to do, places to go, obligations to fulfill. Ha! You have but one obligation to submit. Because this might be a good place to use the Why gun. Why resist? This city is ours. If, hopefully, I can get into place. But again, it is entirely possible the game is going to be rude. Great, now I can't target him, because the game decides to be an asshole. There we go. Gun. There we go. At last, the gun has use. You were a noble's clothes. How is it Savonarola charmed you? Wealth and power do not ensure contentment. But yeah, I do not I recall this guy now like any kind of guy like this in Assassin's done. Creed 1. So maybe my immediate Western fear of Oh my god, is this just quick fire? But at the same time, it's kind of odd how many homages to Assassin's Creed 1 there is. Immediately in this section. We don't even get any chase music. And there's just so many goddamn guards in this goddamn area. Why are there so many goddamn guards? Also, it's you. I was holding the go fast climb button. But you just decide that. Why are there so many fucking guards? God damn it! I don't like these missions. Guards, 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 guards. My favorite. Not being able to play the game because you're like, oh, you ran into a guard. Well, no shit. They are everywhere. 
Let me play the game! Yeah, there's La Volpe. And the Coruscant Lady. Continuing to lead a mob. Again, I just, I do not understand <laughs> these missions. And again, there are nine of them. This, I don't remember them. I don't know why they exist. That was com all completely on me. But yeah, I just... These assassination missions feel just so wonky. But let's see. People of Firenze, come gather round. Listen At least this guy should be easy I to say. kill. The end approaches. Now is the time to repent, to beg God's forgiveness. Stop the preacher's corrupt sermon. Don't you see? Quit showing. I'm need. I need to look into the goddamn options again because I want the tooltips to stop. Oh, I hate them. Go away, please. I don't care. I don't care. You can kill the Borgia couriers, but I just tackle them. But yeah, it is so fucking stupid that there isn't an option to turn off the goddamn bullshit. It's like, I don't care. I don't care. Is it in the database? It's like, where? Why? Why? I don't care about the tooltips. I want them to fuck off. I'm so annoyed. And eh, nope, this guy. I'm just gonna run at him. We Fuck being stealthy. It is just so boring. He's like, I'm gonna stealth up and then have to run away anyway. Fuck it. Your mind, since it is your own. <laughs> Not all of us require deception to be convinced. Because even if you are going to repeat tooltips, for the love of God, make it so they don't turn up back to fucking back. Oh, they're so... The game is annoying me in, in its final hours. Oh, they are annoying me in its final hours. Game... That, fuck off. I'm getting annoyed again, game. Not what I wanted. <laughs> what is La Volpe and Courtesan Lady doing now? Continuing to lead a mob. Or it seems to be leading the people away from where the lieutenants were killed. Which could be leading a mob. All right, next thing is we're going to go there so we can stock up on healing and smoke bombs and bullets, I guess. But Jesus fucking Christ. The game just keeps throwing in weird bullshit. Tooltips that I don't care about and can't turn off. Unless the tooltips are controlled at, like, the main main menu of the collection, which I don't see why they would be. Which just means that the tooltips were made by assholes. We're gonna spam them at you. We're gonna spam them at the. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I just don't fucking care. I swear, if the game killed somebody when I specifically wanted to crash Matt, I was gonna be upset. And let me guess any new armor? Any new weapons? Nope. And my armor does not need to be repaired, which is nice. You know, come to think of it, we haven't upgraded any pouches in a while. 
So we'll pass by the tailor on our way to the next one. I hate the animus glitch thing. I get it, but I hate it. And I, once again, don't remember that being a thing. Like, there's a little blip after the initial, oh yeah, diddly dee, which I hate. Like, usually, the map would have just been like that, leaving the store. It would have been just like, oh, uh, kind of a fade, but no. There's that little blip, and then a double blip, and I hate it. Again, I don't remember these missions. I know I beat Assassin's Creed 2, but I don't remember these missions, so they have to be some kind of you play special missions. But at the same time, there is like something kind of familiar in the La Volpe and uh, the courtesan lady leading a crowd, but hmm, I just I do not remember these missions. I guess I can grab the feather even though I don't even it doesn't even really matter and then I have to jump back anyway because there's no way to get back up. But yeah, this section of the game just feels weird. It's not run faster, it's climb faster. Idiot. When the quick climbing function works, it is very nice. My brain autopiloted to go to the tower. I don't know why. My brain was just like, ah, oh, tower! That's obviously what I must be coming here for. I'm so angry, my brain just went on autopilot. Because it's the tool tips, it's the controls being a bit odd. Secure those crates. We can ill afford to let their contents fall into the wrong hands. Port authority. Without being seen. But they're going to put an obnoxious amount of guards in the way. We'll see just how tough the holdouts are. When they're At least there without doesn't seem to be that many guards on the roof, but... Frickin' still. I miss my throwing knives. Oh dear god, I miss my throwing knives. And it's the without being seen stipulation. Because they're gonna have so many frickin' guards on this. I'm almost surprised they don't have guards in many boats surrounding this boat to make it harder to approach. I'm just becoming so jaded by the design of these final hours. But since it's a boat, fuck off. They should not be able to fucking see me, I swear. And I hate just how long. Get down now. Double fuck off. I hate you, game. I fucking hate you. Is this gonna get me noticed? What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Ugh. I hate the guards in this fucking game. Uh, we're gonna see you wherever you are. And we're just going to make it very fucking annoying. And again, without giving me my throwing knives. I missed my goddamn throwing knives. I didn't expect to miss the goddamn throwing knives this much. Because I hardly ever use them. Maybe that's just because they're shit and not worth anything in this game. Oh, and now you're just going to go all the way around. Mm -mm. I fucking hate these guards. It's just annoying. Hmm, we're gonna add in a, hey, don't be seen stipulation, and then just make the mission annoying. It's not even a main mission. We don't know this fucking guy. He's just a guy. This is so stupid. We're gonna give the hardest assassination missions to random nobodies. Die, 
Again, I don't like these missions. They're random and bullshit. And they don't give you adequate tools to deal with some of the bullshit. Quit showing me the goddamn tooltips! Fuck off! Because again, the whole point of the goddamn throwing knives is just, hey, quick, take care of these assholes button. And they're like, oh, but that's what the gun is for. Fuck off. Oh, yes. This archer randomly turned back around to see you. Throwing knives! Give me my throwing knives! God damn it! These missions are stupid. They do not deserve to exist. They don't mean anything. Ah, I'm gonna wait because he's gonna be a fucking little cunt. Mm, I'm gonna randomly turn around. Even though I just loaded in. Your pathing makes no sense, asshole. Fuck off. I miss my throwing knives. So goddamn. Game! The fuck you think? I hate. I miss my throwing knives so goddamn much. Because that's what they were for. This specific goddamn situation. Hey, is there an annoying ass guard? Hey, throw a knife at him. He's dead. Sure, they shouldn't do it in combat, but fuck off, game. There is no goddamn reason these missions should exist. It's so fucking bullshit. They're just annoying. They don't do anything. We're just gonna make annoying bullshit. We're gonna get the archers supervision. And then give you no way to deal with the archers. <laughs> fucking finally. And also notice that the ship isn't close to any buildings, so you can't get up onto the rafters easily to then be able to shoot him with the gun that the game gave you in this game, thus further rendering the gun pointless. Oh, I just, I do not like these missions. Far too many guards who are far too competent. Granted, the competency of the guards has been a major thing game please for the love of fucking god fuck off game fuck off why why get on that i did not order you to get on that you asshole of a game jesus fucking christ i'm just getting really annoyed at this game's design Difficulty for difficulty's sake, bullshit. I fucking hate these missions. We're gonna make stealth impossible. Now go do a stealth. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't like this. Again, give me my throwing knives! That's what they were for! This bullshit! Hey, are there annoying guards? How about you don't have to deal with annoying guards? Because all the annoying guards are of the low armor class. And low armored soldiers go down stupid fucking fast to throwing knives. And then these fucking assholes came and gutted the throwing knives for no goddamn reason. Again, uh, the reason's probably, oh, but there's a gun! Then the and then they make missions like this! Missions that I do not remember! It's just so annoying! I just want my throwing knives back! Because they fit into this nice little niche! Where you can, like... They have very specific application. Game, why? Game, why? Why are the guards competent in a stealth game? 
A game that doesn't have uh, difficulty settings, if I'm not mistaken. It's just like there's no good angle to approach this goddamn bullshit, and I hate it. It's not fun to be like, hmm, where the fuck do I approach this bullshit from? Nowhere, my favorite. Again, because I can't do interesting plays with my throwing knives to instantly take out a guard. Because the game is like, ah, oh, we're going to put guards in annoying bullshit places. It's just very annoying. The guards are a little too competent seeing places they really shouldn't see. Would be nice if there was like a vision cone on the map if like even if it was so much as hey I locked onto this guy what is he seeing something like that and again I this light in the game I do not like the oh, kill this guy without being seen because it's bullshit that is all it is it is bullshit you fucking see far too much my dude it's the fucking archer issue we're gonna have the archers see fucking everything. I swear if this gets seen, I'm gonna be fucking annoyed. Is it, again, I just... I don't even know where to fucking go. And this is a terrible climbing spot. Because I don't even know, like... Game, please climb. Don't. How can you fucking see me? I hate that guy. <laughs> Asshole who's just like, I see everything. I see everything. I hate the guards. This goddamn game. Come, get a little bit closer, asshole. You are a grade-A asshole. You're not even going to get close enough for me to kill you. And if I kill you on the deck, they're going to be like, Somebody's here! And the count is fucking stealth-breaking. Fuck off! At least that guy's gone now. Fuck off! And now I am in desperate want of this game to just fuck off. Because it feels like I need to kill those guys to then kill the guy underneath him. But if I fuck it up, I'm going to have to do this all over again. I hate it. That guy's patrol is way too fucking fast. Dear God, that guy's patrol is way too fucking fast. Please, no. Please, no. Thank you, game. I swear if it's like, oh, you got found out... For a moment there, I thought he was going to do that. What? For a moment there, I thought it was going to do it. <laughs> I thought it was going to do the thing. Emotion. Where it's like, oh yeah, you killed them, but you were found out while you were killing them, so therefore the mission failed. I thought it was going to do that because of how it kind of blacked out there. Oh, Jesus Christ. That would have made me lose it. Like, I'm already extremely annoyed with these missions, having way too many guards who are way too competent, doing way too much bullshit. Well, yeah, if the game pulls that level of bullshit of, oh, yeah, sure, technically you did do the mission, but uh, we're going to say that you failed anyway because uh, we're assholes. Why else do you think we designed a mission like this? But, yeah, I that mission, like the other ones, I'm just mostly like little gripes with it. Mostly just little gripes overall. That mission can go get fucked. Because there needs to be leeway in a stealth game. Are we going to see La Volpe and others? Well, no, because there wasn't a crowd that time. Just the guards. So I guess it makes sense. But yeah, these missions are fucked. Again, do not remember them. In all honesty, I kind of wish that I won't remember them after I'm done with this, because these missions are not good. 
I've had some gripes with the other ones, mostly in... Um, Darn, why is my special plan not work, like sending the thieves to distract his bodyguards, but then they instantly know it's me? That assassination contract that happened here, where I tried to poison the guy, but I got too close to his guard, and it was just like, Oh, you're here to kill him! Even though I wasn't... Like, even though it wasn't a restricted area, it wasn't... Oh, you're notorious. No, it's just that guard, for whatever reason, instantly was like, eh, how dare. Mild annoyance. That, like, yeah, for the most part, the game has just been mildly annoying at worst. That is genuinely a part that I uh, don't like. I genuinely don't... Game... Why would I spam the attack button with the hidden blades activated next to a next to an enemy if not to stab them? Stab them, game. Your orders are simple. Keep watch over these fields and ensure no harm comes to the bundles of fieno. It may seem a mundane task. Do I need to set fire to the bundles of fieno? Nonetheless. Oh boy. Uh, avoid alerting his henchmen. And it's gonna have five billion henchmen! I'm going to dislike this mission. I just know I'm going to hate this mission. Is he going to come by mine, or is he just going to loop around those three? Probably going to loop around those three. And this is, again, one of the ones that makes me worry about uh, trying to assassinate him in front of his guards, even if it is from a bundle of hay. There are just so many fucking guards and not many ways of uh, getting by them. <laughs> oh, this design annoys me so fucking much. I am fucking annoyed. You tried to do a thing, so now you fail. Yeah, I hate this. The guards are way too competent. There is no room for error, and that's why I hate them. This is a video game, you assholes. Make it fun! Jesus fucking Christ. We're gonna make stupid bullshit. Because that's what video game is stupid bullshit that's the only thing that exists in the world stupid bullshit you think this post a waste of time and because that guards there it's like i and then there's a bunch of patrolling guards there's like no room for movement in this goddamn thing unless it's like oh get out I'm, oh yeah, sure, I tried to do a thing again, and the game says, Oh, actually, you can't get out of a bundle of hay and into blending in with uh, people, you stupid fucking idiot. You thought you were playing a video game? Fuck you. That's what this feels like. Let me play the game! Let me do things! I expect some challenge, but this just feels arbitrary. Let me, like, do a thing, jump out into a group of moving civilians. Why is that just physically impossible to the neurons firing in your goddamn brain? All right, that's one thing. Unless these guys immediately about face, I can get into that bundle of hay. And eventually stab him once he does his rounds again. Hopefully. Unless the game indeed is going to be bullshit and like, 
How dare you? They saw you stab him. At this point, I am bordering on saying that Cyberpunk 2077 is the better stealth game. Which would be such a pitiful failure on the part of the designers of this game that they should be barred from making games ever again. Just ever so borderline there. That is how annoyed I am getting. Why the fuck would I lock on to an asshole behind me game? Or is he not going to get close enough to do that? Come on, get closer. Why? Or is he going to do a loop around? Because this is a different loop compared to before. Oh, but he gets close enough for that one. I am enraged. Because <laughs> I can't just jump out and stab him. And the fucking patrolling assholes make it impossible. Come on, just get close enough. Ooh, I am enraged. The uncompromising, you have to be a god at stealth, but by the way, we have no stealth mechanics in this game that has a bunch of stealth missions in it. Oh, you can go fuck yourself, little man. Fuck off. And now I will wait for him to patrol back because Fuck even trying to make any kind of play when the game is this much of an asshole. Wow, it's almost like discouraging the player from trying things makes them fall into a degenerate play style. Hmm. Yeah, because again, the stealth mechanics with this many guards suck. And there is no stuff to be had because you can't throw a knife at him because even then I think the game's designers were assholes and like, no, no, you can't kill the assassination targets with throwing knives. That would be bad. And then just like made that impossible. Even, like again, that one assassination contract where for whatever reason they just decided, no, you cannot kill this guy with a throwing knife. Long before even some of the guards started becoming immune to throwing knives. And again, I am not going to move. I will wait fucking half an hour for that asshole to run around to this goddamn pail of hay. Because I am done giving this game a chance when it comes to, Hey, I want to do a cool thing. And then the game just fucking shanks my asshole. That's what this is. You want to do a cool thing? Fuck you. You want to play the game? Fuck you. You have to do this one specific degenerate thing. That is how you play this game. You find the simplest, most basic form of entry, and you go, oh, that is obviously how the designers did it because they sucked at playing their own game. Here is the convoluted ad point and click adventure game logic to killing this one person. That is what it feels like. And again, I am fully expecting the game to go, Hey, you killed him from a hay bale. And while he was being tailed by his two guards, you're supposed to kill his two guards. I am once again fucking enraged. I am outside of your realm of influence, assholes. There are way too many fucking guards. I am enraged. And there's like, as you'll notice, no courtesans. No thieves. No nobody. Nobody to help you with this fucking section. And it's not like you can, like, jump onto a building and, like, target him with the gun because the guards are super fucking competent for some goddamn reason. All right, these guys are going to make their patrol. I need to jump out, double stab them. 
and potentially leave their bodies on the ground. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. <laughs> damn it. The fact that this entire fucking thing is based around the hay bales and the target doesn't come anywhere close to a hay bale is infuriating. Please nobody see this. I smacked a bug, and the game decided to actually get me out that time. You better not be able to poke at me beyond the grave, like beyond my sphere of influence. There are far too many guards for this goddamn area. Again, I expected him to actually come by the hay bale because, you know, we're having an assassination mission with a fuckload of hay bales. Again, this is just, this is boring. This is boring. There isn't anything, it's just boring waiting bullshit, I hate it. Come on, get... He's coming by, I fucking hate you, game. Please, just give it to me. Give it to me, please. You would have ah. people starve. And for what? Too long ah. I suffered their insults. They called me simple and low class. I wanted their respect. I'm afraid. I'm just gonna say it. These fun. missions are kind of, they feel rushed and bullshit. These feel like they are tacked on. The, that's what these feel like. It just feels tacked on bullshit by a designer that's like, eh, I don't want people to cheese my mission. Like even when they, like, that's what it feels like. It's like a designer, I'm gonna make a merchant who wants people's respect and is hoarding all the hay, so there's a bunch of hay bales that they can use. And then when the playtesters started to, like, cheese the mission by killing him just by waiting in a hay bale, the designer flipped their shit and was like, okay, now he's just gonna, I'm gonna add in a bunch of guards, and he's not gonna patrol next to any of the hay bales, even while he's patrolling around the hay bales. It just feels like, it just, eh. They're quick fire annoyances, is what this feels like. And I put a goddamn thing on that one. Kindly show up on minimap, asshole game. Because I'm just losing my patience with this game. Far too many guards who are far too competent. And so many of them are, do it without being seen. Despite the fact that all the time you're gonna be seen regardless! Just let me do it! Let me play the game! <laughs> you must not disrupt our work! Firenze is sick! It's our duty to cure her! How? By forcing our people to follow a madman? And again, all these characters, like, they're not even characters. Those in power. They're yes. just nine well, random dudes. To change. No! You won't take me! Savonarola will know of your treachery! Yes, 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 that is a book. And how many guards are just gonna appear out of nowhere in this section? 
At least he was easy to kill. Thank God. See, that was a decent mission, because I could actually run up and kill him. I was a victim. It's not my fault. No. Bleg. You made the choice. He charmed me with that thing. Only because you allowed it. Lo faccio per il popolo. Like again, I do not remember these missions at all. They are so short and I'm just going to say it kind of shit. And I don't even understand why they don't feel like any purpose to it. it just feels odd and weird. Getting down. You can end the chase now. You can end the chase now. You can end the chase now. Thank you. Something is wrong here. They're all being Please taken like Masayev. Oddly again, being led by La Volpe and the courtesan lady. Soon feel much but he's like, this did not need to be nine lieutenants. Except to be like, hurdy her. Assassin's Creed 1 had nine targets. That basically feels like what they're going for. It just feels like there's hardly any substance to these assassinations. Like, even like, sure, some of the conspirators didn't have all that much personality to them. Like, uh, Jacopo's posse. Back before he went to Venice, they didn't have all that much personality at all. But even then, like the crazy guy in the tower, he's memorable. The fact that the game stole my smoke bombs made the uh, monk killing mission a bit... I was going to say interesting, but let's just go with uh, acknowledgeable. But these... I do not like these. They're neat. There could have been like three. Ah, another challenger. Excellent. Savonarola warned me that some would oppose our And they're just shoving so them in. If you're going to have to targets, give them, like, personality and, like, build up. But no, there's just, like, effective. random guy. Incoming Charmo. He says some things. You kill him. Random guy is dead. What a spectacle. It is just how long you survive. Good down from there as I am on the ground. And this definitely feels like uh, the slaver from Assassin's Creed 1. Again, I, I said that they're probably not actually homaging or anything the Assassin's Creed 1. But again, these past few missions have had odd similarities. Defending a monk. Like defending a monk from fist fighting. Guards like in Assassin's Creed 1. An art burner instead of a book burner. But then again, he was probably like... Materialistic burner. Can I target him? Game doesn't want me to target him. Probably because it doesn't want me to shoot him with the goddamn gun. Further proving that the gun is a gimmick and terrible. All it did was ruin throwing knives. And thus I hate. If I had to guess, I would suspect a form of insecurity. Why else do you wear the hood? Why would I from the world? Self. I see these words are wasted. Serving only to Fine, I'm coming up, I'm coming up. Where did, oh, he ran up further. <laughs> and once again, wait, way too many fucking guards, game. Fuck off. Seriously, look at the fuck this. Fuck off, dude. And 
Oh, fuck off! Ugh. Archers. Stop me from killing them, fucking bullshit. Is this truly who I was? I'm just gonna say it. These missions were designed by a very insecure person. Savonarola bewitched you. Did he? These or missions are just so bad. There's just a weird ramp up of difficulty <sighs> to these Florence missions. As do I. That just don't feel like Very they crazy. fit. They feel Mario like Mario, Mario Maker fan made Mario missions Mario. where the creator is like a five year old. More <laughs> guards make <laughs> game hard. And that's gonna kill me. Almost! Oh, <laughs> fucking most! The game had some mercy, thank God. But yeah, it's just like, throw guards at it. The guards are very competent. Do it in stealth. Then, and again, the hay one is the most egregious. Where it's like, we're gonna have a mission where the target is patrolling a bunches of bales of hay, but you can't kill them from a hay bale assassination. Then what is the fucking point? It just feels out of sync with what the rest of the like missions in Assassin's Creed 2 have been. All of these. just feels so odd and wonky. And there did not need to be nine of them. Uh, double, triple fuck off, please. Will you leave me the fuck alone, please? Fuck off, please! Jesus fucking Christ! My patience is waning immensely! Oh, so much is it fucking waning! I was no longer notorious, the mission had passed. For the love of God, leave me alone! Ah, I was gonna kill him just to get that one stat in the Borgia Courier. Yeah, these there did not need to be nine of these missions. Find a middle ground, just make it five. And then don't use the annoying ones. Like, that kind of uh, arena one, I guess, was fine. A little annoying because of archers, but the only reason I am super annoyed at it <laughs> overall is because it was thrown in amongst all the other super annoying bullshit ones. That's it. That's the only real reason that I'm angry at it. It's the company it keeps, no, not so much itself. Climb the Duomo without being seen. What is with all the, hey, do this without being seen? By the way, we're gonna put a fuck ton of guards in your way. Oh, I hate it. Oh, do I fucking hate it. Climb without being seen. By the way, we're gonna make it impossible to do this without being seen. That's my fucking favorite. Yeah, I'm just immensely annoyed at the design of these last few missions. At least it doesn't seem like there are too many guards. Uh, but the guards still do the fucking bullshit. <sighs> Hate it. Hurdy her, I see you from very far away because I am competent guard. Because, you know, that's what players want in a stealth game with ever so slightly subpar stealth. Competent guards. I was gonna say, that guy better not fucking see my assassination. Just way, way too many guards. 
Again, I I would accept most of this bullshit if I just had my throwing knives, I think. It's hard to tell because they took away my throwing knife, so I don't even know. Because again, most of my gripes go purely towards uh, archers. Archers I find just very annoying without my throwing knives. Because again, what's the point of the throwing knives if I can't if I if they two shot these assholes? What's the point of two shotting them? There's no fucking point in two shotting these assholes. I need to be safe and kill. I'm just gonna hang from here because <laughs> you just know that guy's gonna be like, I see you while I'm walking towards you. Because there can be no peace in these get by without being seen missions. Alrighty then, I shall go kill that guy because I could have sworn that he came that that the archer on this level came over here once, but apparently game doesn't like doesn't like happiness. Then maybe I should. It's hard to fucking decide. He's going to see me from this angle, isn't he? Because the game just loves to make archers just super fucking intelligent. I hate you, game. The archers, they have like 180 degree vision. Please no other C. Please no other C. Please no other C. Make kindness and happiness. Again, I would just... So much I would give for good throwing knives to be in this game. That is like the one thing... Oh, you, you bitch. You were an inch away from going psych I see you for one split second, which thus means you fail. Goodbye. He was gonna do that. Okay, yes, please. <laughs> The small annoyances continue to eat away at my soul. Then again, is it really a small annoyance? Well, there is not much that I can do here, is there? I need to see where this fucking guard goes. You know what? I'm just gonna stay on the opposite side and wait for his little red dot! You've sung your last. Goodbye, monk man. Jesus Christ. I thought... Ah! The word of God. I will say, the increased difficulty does have an increased sense of tension. I want it so badly. But that does not balance out the increased aggravation. <laughs> there needs to be a balance struck of too easy, but like not too easy, but not too hard. And then all the guards disappeared. Hilarious. Ah! That's like, what, the third do this without getting seen one? Which I guess three out of three, well, three out of nine isn't terrible, but still. Overabundance of guards, instant lose conditions, no easy way to take care of low-level fodder enemies who are there purely to ruin your stealth. <laughs> I do not like these missions. Like, quite honestly, again, maybe like have one or two that are kind of difficult or stressful. 
but like most of them just feel so wonky and clunky with the amount of guards there are. How hardcore the guards are. And again, the fact that the there are nine of these assholes who have no personality. They're just like, here's a lieutenant. Kill them. Maybe they are homage to Assassin's Creed 1. Who fucking knows anymore? Ah! Uh, a plague doctor? Interesting. It's quite simple, Amici. If you desire care, you'll submit yourselves fully to our new ruler. Surgical strike. Assassinate the doctor without being fucking seen. Can I do it with a gun? And once again... How do I even fucking get close? The choice is yours to make. Continue to support the Medici who, as you know, have long since fled Firenze. Or accept Savonarola. Uh... I do think the goal is to get to the monks to get behind the line, but again, there are just so many fucking guards. You have to keep track of so many pairs of eyes that it's just very annoying. We cared over much for earthly things and pleasures of the flesh. Monks, we please. From Monks, the please. God. And why wouldn't we, shamed as we were at our actions? This is why you ache and take ill. Alright, not that bad. That one was okay. That one was good. It's just the dread of the other ones hurt so bad. Have spilled. But you weren't healing people. Healer. No, I've spilled the blood of a tyrant. To command such power over the body, between this world and the next, it seems so let's see. I grew intoxicated. After we get out of this confession, no, let's still. rate the nine. Morte non sarà inutile. The nine missions. All right, let's rate the nine missions. The Doctor one, that one is pretty good. If I, like, basically, let's keep it simple and use like a 50% rule. Do I like or dislike this mission? Like, basically, on a percentage scale, would this mission be above 50% like, or would it be below 50% like? This one would be above 50% like. In hindsight, the kind of arena fight, you have to climb up to get him, kind of homage to the slaver guy in Assassin's Creed 1 mission. I guess that one would be above 50% like. The boat mission, definitely below 50% like. The hay bale mission, below 50% like. The chase was so simple it will be above 50% like, just simply of being not mean. The book burner, well, not book burner, but art burner. Eh, I think that one was okay designed, I think. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that one was okay designed because I didn't, because it had a nice inn. You could get out of the hay, like, well, Sakura flowers. Like the pink not hay bale. You could jump out of it into a crowd and then you could use the goddamn gun and also that was one of the ones where you hey it wasn't if you get seen the mission fails which is just an annoying stipulation in these rapid fire missions then there was a preacher he was above 50 percent like i'd say oh no also 50 percent like above 50 percent like for the art burning guy climbing the duomo that was I guess above 50% like because there were there wasn't an overabundance of guards, I think. There was definitely more than usual, and it was just the residual, oh god, there are so many guards in these areas, like, hatred going on that I was just annoyed by it. Again, a decent amount of these are probably okay on their own. It's just that they were bundled together with such crap missions that... 
I did not like him. And you did not hit me at all. Your hitboxes are terrible. Be gone. So yeah, overall, I guess the majority of them weren't terrible, but it's hard to say when they were surrounded by so many terrible missions. It's just that there was a bunch of annoyances is the problem. A bunch of annoyances. On top of the fact that I do not remember them, all these missions. Like, maybe I remember the La Volpe and Courtesan Lady leading a bunch of people to some place. I vaguely remember that in a way, but... Yeah, there did not need to be nine missions... There did not need to be that many guards. And the fact that they also, like, restrict you so much, like, no, like, no, like, uh, I, I almost said militia. M no mercenaries. Mercenaries. That's what it is. There weren't any mercenaries. There weren't any thieves. They weren't, there weren't any courtesans. There were just, like, vague little things. Like, maybe they wanted you to use the like a uh, random walking civilian crowds more but eh. just annoying the majority of those missions were guards that are like i see you even from a 180 degree angle freaking godlike eyes on these guys there needs to be, like, at least a little bit of, hey, you can make a little bit of mistake when it comes to stealth games. And these guards, they do not feel, they do not feel like they are giving you any kind of leeway. But there we go. I killed his lieutenants. Now what? <laughs> we created a rabble rouse. What happens now? Oh, so that's what, yeah. That's what this is. Machiavelli brought together a big riot against the ruling families. And that's why they, the Medici torture him and banish him later. Beat him up. Throw him on the fire. Oh, we're not even going to get to kill this guy. He's going to be taken away. That's hilarious. I honestly do not. I, honestly, that is almost worth it. If. Game, please. Game. It is almost worth it. That the game. Oh, fuck off. Double fucking triple fuck off, game! Why? Why? We're gonna make climbing this fucking annoying. Give you no control. Reduce distance. Game, you wouldn't fucking let me. Fuck off. Yeah, that's bullshit. He's gonna climb a building while we're gonna make it a fucking asshole to do it for you. I should be able to just... Uh, it did it again. Well, not really. Not terribly. Because he's on a pre-written path. Luck onto the right guy game. Or is this one that doesn't want me to assassinate him and does its best to make it so I can't catch up to them? Is that what this is? Nope, I can kill him. Yay. It just wouldn't lock on to the asshole for some reason. And... Hello, guardman, fly. But yeah, I am all for some of the pain that I went through if the guy that got away with the apple just randomly gets... Shanghai'd by a mob and 
taken away. I almost don't mind it. The missions are still kind of crap, in my opinion, for the most part. In that there are so many of them, so many guards, and one or two too many. If you do, if you be seen, you have to restart everything. Is a little annoying. Maybe it's because they realized once they made a few, hmm, we're making these kind of a um, bit of annoying to do. So people are just going to forego actually doing the mission and they'll just run at the guy and kill him. Let's make that not an option. Even though, like, we're not going to give the player opportunity to do anything. You get a lot if you do that against the Borgia messenger. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, they're going to pull out with this guy. They're going to burn him. This is hilarious. Hilarious. What, do I have to go up there and stab him myself? Show mercy. <laughs> Kill him before he burns! No one deserves to die in such pain. Can I shoot him? <laughs> Hilarious! Again! I do not remember this at all! I do not remember any of this! I knew this day would come. Please, show mercy. No. Well, that's true. I have. Va ora, che sia il tuo Dio a giudicarti. Requiescat in pace. Ah. He's back. <laughs> He's gonna address the people. When Again, I don't remember ago, these missions. I stood where I stand now. Which is odd considering that this I is a bookend to his entire story Trained for this game. I had caught flames. Vengeance clouded my mind. It would have consumed me. Were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers. Who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers. Guided me to learn from myself. Granted, they they also were the ones to lead the mob to let him be carried we don't away. Need anyone to tell us what to do? Not Savonarola, not the Merici. We Lorenzo probably watching from atop. I can't there fucking it's you saying all this shit. From us. Too many of you gladly give it, but it is our ability to choose. Because you'd think that Ezio would have spoken up on behalf of Machiavelli. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers, show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me. Do not let others control you. Merely control yourself. Again, I do not remember these missions. Mob justice completed. You know, maybe maybe there is a reason why the uh like game the IGN like uh guide doesn't have these. I wonder if they also played a version of the game that, for whatever reason, didn't activate memory sequences 12 through 13. Because for some reason, I distinctly remember... Like... I, yeah, I just, I don't remember those missions. I do not remember those missions. On the one hand, those missions did pad the timer. 
on the other other hand, those last few missions were kind of ass. Again, all I would have asked, like uh, one thing, if I could change one thing, I would probably, I would probably still complain, but probably not as much. Literally, if I just had my old throwing knives back, where I could just uh, diddly dee kill archers before they could s sound the alarm, I would be okay. I will give feathers to mother. I never did find the statues. I don't know what the statues were for, or what the statues are. No idea. Like, if we go to the inventory, it's like, oh yes, statues, statuettes, what even? Oh yeah, and another thing, I want to look at the conspirator map. <laughs> He's just placed all the way out by himself. If that doesn't speak that he was added on, but at the same time, the brothers were in fact included on the wheel in that. In fact, they're in the exact place I said that if there were any more conspirators, that's where they would be. Just all of these portraits. <laughs> and Jacopo's entire posse? Yeah. Hilarious. But, yeah. That whole Florence section just felt weird. Like the missions were made by somebody who hadn't made Assassin's Creed missions. <laughs> I made the map. It is time, Uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The codex pages will lead us to it. Everybody, activate your predator vision. I thought that I did already. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I can uh, put the piece of Eden there. And it will, like, light up the map for everybody else to see. It's a map of the entire world, but there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. Machiavelli is smart. I imagine they Won't save him from be being uh, thrown out, but hey. How is this possible? Perhaps where the is the vault here in Italy? In Rome. Do you see where it is then? No. <laughs> can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Rome. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I, I'm sorry I keep saying it again and again and again repetitively. But I do not remember that Florence section at all, or even the Forley section. I don't remember any, like, white exclamation point missions. Ever. Those two memory sequences felt off. Like, again, it honestly feels like they were tacked on to a degree. Because I recall, I remember, it, like... Jumping from the, maybe you're the prophet, to this. We go back in the codex wall. That's what it, that's what I thought. Spaniard. Unless this by doing something, like maybe because I did, like, got Altair's armor or something. Because, again, Rebecca said, hey, I've opened up those blocked memories or whatever. I don't know. Again, it's very similar to the Templar lairs. I do not remember them. Now I understand. 
It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. <laughs> what staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The papal staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades. And now we have them. Answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does, but he needs both if pieces he finds of Eden. A way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What are the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom Huzzah. to conduct your search. Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. But yeah, I just <laughs> it feels <laughs> multiple missions. And what mission you give me? Roma beckons, Ezio. Let me know when you are ready to depart. Not yet, because there's another one. I specifically said no. I specifically said no, game. Yeah, okay, I don't know why it went and now. You did, lady. Oh boy, there's more in Florence, oh good god. Welp, let's go fucking see. Cause so I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I do not even know how to feel. Those last few missions were just kind of garbage. They felt so out of place. They felt weird. But let's... Well, we'll fast travel to Florence. See what mission it is. See if I care at all. Because a part of me kind of just wants to skip it and just go to Rome. Finish the game. But unlike the assassination contracts, which started to get annoying after a certain point, so I said, eh, screw this. Well, where's the fucking mission? Or was the... It said there was a fucking mission here. Okie dokie. We'll head back to the villa. I feel like I'm going insane. <laughs> there was a mission there, right? There was a mission dealy. There was a mission dealy. But I guess it's just right outside of Florence. Don't know why you would put it there. Feels pretty bad if you ask me. Ah, you can actually see, like, when they are done. Secret locations, no, all, not all feathers. Apparently not all beat-ups. Or couriers. Interesting. Well, let's grab a horse and see what is just outside of the way to Florence. Again, why would you put it fucking there? Because usually when a mission is like, ooh, you must go to this place, it does that kind of hover over thing. So by doing that, it's kind of an asshole thing. Uh, again, there's a mission that goes to Florence, Billy. What the hell? Because we were in Florence. 
and nothing happened. And then it just disappears. What the fuck? Is that just a thing that's like... Because uh, there is no mission. There is no mission here. There is nothing. Like, unless it's pointing to the, the race, but it can't be that because... There are diddlities in Venice. That makes no fucking sense. What the fuck? Why is there a mission dealie pointing to Florence when there isn't one in Florence? Hey, hey. What the hell? What the hell? I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm losing my goddamn mind. How about you? What the fuck? I'm just gonna go to Rome. Because that's fucking weird. I don't know why the game is saying, hey, there's a mission in Florence. But there isn't. I don't fucking know. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe something glitched? But I don't get it. It's apparently in Florence, but it's not telling me where in Florence. So maybe there isn't even one at all. I... I'm losing my mind. What a wonderful time. Also, you'd think that Claudia would have something to say about everything, but nope, she's just doing the books. Eh, well, fuck it. Let's go to Rome. Roma beckons at you. Let me know when you are ready. Guess I'm ready to go because I can't even go to the other mission, apparently. I don't get it at all. Weird. This is like the first time that I saw the Brute tooltip. And it doesn't even say anything. Brutes! They are what they look like! Wahai! $14.99. Which means that, uh... The Lady of Forley has been... Horribly horribly more than likely, by now. But let us go infiltrate the Sistine Chapel and assassinate Rodrigo Borgia, the Spaniard. They totally should have had it say, assassinate Rodrigo Borgia, the Pope. They actually made an entire, like, map of this place. Well, it is a kind of smaller one, but... Hey, let's -a go. <laughs> let's -a go. Yeah, I'm just losing my goddamn mind overall. How about you? It's not what I wanted at all. But yeah, I still... Ever so slightly... GAME! I hate the contextual running... So much, like... As much grief as I gave Assassin's Creed 1, where it overly threw me onto things, it never felt like... I can't recall it ever, like, making... like, missing a jump. I don't remember ever missing a jump because of the contextual shenanigans of Assassin's Creed 1. Then again, it could just be that Assassin's Creed 1 was a... Like, a, a decent enough length, whereas this game is uh, pretty long, much longer. And with that Florence section, very much overstaying welcome. I'll take out all the archers, if at all possible. Because I have uh, experienced horrors and uh, do not wish to again. Basilica di San Pietro. Hello, friend.
Goodbye. Open sesame. Why does the guard have his own bodyguard? Why? You are very odd. Would this Sistine Chapel even have these kinds of guards? On payroll? Like, I know they have, like, well, at least they... Uh, you are the guards. I don't understand why that worked for you, but most of the time, whenever I tried to do that, against people who e aren't even aware of me most of the time, they still kind of do it. They still deflect me, which makes no sense. Then again, maybe I am just killing the Papal Guard. Well, no, the Papal Knights look different. Oh, they turned around. Have to kill all these guys. Who saw what happened? Ah, they even have unique voice lines. God's will be done. I guess I didn't need to kill them, but this just makes it easier. Assassino! Assassino! Horse time. Convenient. Goodbye, your crotch. Just need to get away from the guards. They're like, we're going to knock out your horse, which is kind of annoying. Uh, horse? Please don't throw rocks at me. Stop throwing fucking rocks at me. Stop! The entire point of that... The section is annoying. I am unseen by them. Why do they throw rocks so? They just forgot that I existed after throwing rocks at me. Sure, whatever. Hug. Game. By the love of God. That's what I wanted to do this entire goddamn time. And the game is like, no! No, you want to climb down. No game. Most definitely did not want to climb down. Do you like the percussion there? The percussion in this music, the guitar, is all very good. Yeah, and again, this feels like a lot more like like how Assassin's Creed 2 has been up till now. Some wonkiness with like the throwing rocks eternally after the chase, of which at that point, why wouldn't I just stop to kill all of them along the way? But hey. Apparently not. And again, your legs keep going digitrade. You'd probably fix that. You belong down below. Get down. Did you fucking see me? Ah, what the fuck am I doing? He's here. How I'm not notorious by now, I'll never know. Get there. Ah, hug tech, my good old friend. So I'm just carving a bloody swath through this entire place. Careful, Clark! It's not on it. We work together. 
Booyah! I think that's the first time I've killed a guard with a breakable object in this game. Remember your training. What if I don't want to? Uh, your friend's still dead, so it works for me. And now two. Hey. Aw, but come on. That would be the fun thing. Why can't I disarm them while they have full health? Cut them off. Go. And goodbye, you. And what am I doing? I can just do this. That's odd. I didn't order you to throw him. Against the wall, which then would hurt me. Maybe he kicked off against the wall. Let's make that the head cannon. I grabbed him near a wall, so he kicked off of it, so I would become... Uh, what's the word? My brain wanted to say defuzzled, but that's not a word. Disheveled. Yes. <laughs> Hello, friends. I like the immediate change in ambience, and I think I am trapped. Also, I... The guard is facing the wrong direction. I will... I will guard... Maybe that's just to show me what they expect of me in the upcoming sections. And again! This feels like so much kinder... ...compared to what Florence was! seems to be that you don't want to actually kill the guards. You want to sneak up to the uh, door guard. Maybe kill that guy. Goodbye. Once again, somehow, n wasn't notorious before. You'd think that Rodrigo Borgia would have an entire, like, standing order. This guy wants to kill me. Kill him if you see him. He is a heretic who hates the Pope. Like, you think he would do that even just for his ego? Also, the, he's um, die, heretic. Interesting that that. I, but we don't kill him. He doesn't die though. Is he a ghost? I thought. I thought I was beyond this. But I'm not. Besides, he needed to die. He was such a threat. Too long. Lost too but he's not. He's alive. It's not over. It can't be. Papal staff time. But I stab you. Magic. And now he is just siphoning the souls of everybody. Because I am an assassin, and also I have the piece of Eden. I see it. Kind of you to bring me the apple. Now give it here. Low. <laughs> oh, is the fighter. Just like your father. Well, rejoice, my child. For you will see him again soon. You will give it to me. It's just hilarious. Ah. The old uh, Al Mualim, I see. And they even have different colors! 
Fascinating. An impressive power, this. That's it's cool. To save you. Another thing coming. And already one of my clones is uh, seemingly down for the count. Then again, I just uh, I find it hilarious that they're using the papal staff as a spear. And what my clones are doing, nothing. My clones, Gordon! A clever trick, but useless. Do I uh, use uh, this because it's faster? That was weird. So yeah, I think we use this because it's ever so slightly faster. Uh, you did get rid of all of your allies. Granted, I think most of them were uh, just priests and s stuff, but you also got rid of your guards. You are right to fear me. Can I grab you? No. Boss fight! Boss fight! Do I have anything else? Can I shoot him with the gun? He just tanks a fucking gun. <laughs> he tanks a gun, man. You cannot stop me. The bulletproof pope. Die. Die. The bulletproof pope. No, you will not take this. Utter madness. It's finished, Rodrigo. Lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes sweetly. Really, Angel? And would you give up so easily when it He's got a point there. Why don't we find out? Also, Ninja Pope. Why did you even do that, Ezio? And now, to deal with you. What are you gonna do? Stab me? Oh, he did. Lol. I thought he was gonna stab me with the papal stab, but nope, just dagger. On the other side of the stomach this time, though. And then it's like, game over. You didn't beat him up enough. For the perf- <laughs> Is the boss battle this way because they were annoyed at people... Uh, killing Al Mualim in just one go? Because I think that's what the, what happened. <laughs> Why else would they also ha So last time we got a stab like that, oh, we were out for like months, maybe even years. This time, though, we walk that shit off. Also, uh, let me just say that it is quite repetitive that the game uh, went, oh yeah, you get stabbed and lose the apple. Twice. I think that's kind of dumb. And again, nobody ever found this. Like, I, I get it. It's a, it's a funny set piece, but... What is this Forerunner place? technology. Underneath the Sistine goddamn chapel. Open, damn you. I am the prophet. Open! It's over, Rodrigo. 
No more and troops. now for the funniest no final activity. boss in video game history. No Let us see what you are made of, old man. All right then. If that's how you want to play. Fist fight with the Pope. The funniest fucking thing. What do you even want with the vault, Rodrigo? Don't you know what lies with him? Or do you mean to tell me the great and powerful assassins didn't figure it out? Figure what out? God. It's I mean, guess it would make sense. You expect me to believe that God lives beneath the Vaticano? A more logical location than a kingdom. He's got a point. Don't you think? Surrounded by singing angels. Would be kind of interesting. God is literally underneath the seat of holy power. But the truth is far more interesting. Let's say I want to believe you. What do you think you'll do when you open that door? Join you? I don't care. It's not a But if it is God, he won't just, just sit there and power. take it, would he? And you think you'll give it up? Whatever lies beyond that wall won't be able to resist the would it? An apple. They were made were they? Felling gods. God is meant to be all knowing, all powerful. You think a couple of ancient relics can harm him? You know nothing, boy. You think I just want to hear everything and not just end an it. Book. A book, mind you, written by men. <laughs> you are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became Pope because it gave me access. It gave me power. You think I believe a single goddamn word of that ridiculous book? It's all lies and superstition. Just like this really is an anime. They're monologuing the while they fight. Thousand years. And now I think it's over. So now we can kill him. AKA, uh, leave him knocked out on the goddamn floor like it's WWE. Choke him out. Choke him out. Hilarious. You can't. You can't. It's my destiny. Mine. I am the prophet. Hilarious to hear all this after we've just known him as the Never Spaniard were. for so long. Get no. With them. No. Killing you won't bring my family back. I'm done. Hilarious, considering... <laughs> basically telling him that he's already dead. He's that he was never alive. Rest in peace, even though I'm not killing you. Yeah, it's just hilarious that that was so much more enjoyable than those odd missions. Once we, once credits start rolling, I'm gonna look those up. What are their what is their deal? And then it gives you a bunch of money that you can't even spend because you've bought everything by now. In Boca Lupo, the vault. Memory synced. Sequence fourteen complete. Greetings, Prophet. It is good you have come. Let us see it. To give thanks. Do you want the apple back? You know that thing for felling gods. We must speak. Who are you? Many names. When I died, it was Minerva. Before that, Mulva and Mera. Oh, so, Mulva. yeah, you're the gods. The others, too. Juno, who was before called Uni. Jupiter, who was Yeah, the Roman gods, so probably also Greek gods. The same gods reinterpreted it again and again and again. Your gods. <laughs> no, not gods. We simply came. So thus, okay. technically gods. Even when we walked the world, your kind struggled to understand our existence. We were more advanced in time. Your minds were not yet ready. Still, <laughs> She's looking right at us. Maybe never. 
the matter. You may not comprehend us, but you will comprehend our war name. You must. None of what you are saying makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There is no one else here. Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but to you. You are meant to deliver the words. Perfect. You've played your part. You anchor him, but please be silent that we may commune. Hilarious. Listen. When we were still flesh and our home still whole, it's kind of even curved like the old we animus. Made you. We kind of was. Gave you life. We were strong, but you were many, and both yeah, of us really. craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until not remained but Quick, ash. somebody get ash from Pokemon. We'll stop this. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. You were our numbers. Your kind and mine. It took sacrifice. Strength. Compassion. But we rebuilt. And as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. But now, we are dying, and time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. Very interesting but art for all this. also bring hope. It has a nice kind of clean style that's reminiscent of, like, ancient carvings. They worked to protect us, to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. Be quick, for time grows short, and guard against the cross. For there Abstergo! <laughs> There's the Abstergo the Tower! That's a symbol of the future. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. That's a joke. We can do no more. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many Sadly, questions. the gods are fickle. Even if they don't call themselves gods. Law. Fuck. But yeah, I while the monologue was happening, I looked it up. Memory sequences twelve and thirteen were apparently downloadable content. Why? I guess that explains why they're so wonky. They were probably made by a different team than the normal ones. Memory sequence 12 wasn't bad. There's only about 10 minutes. Memory the sequence 13 group. fucking sucked though. They do. Desmond. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sean, I need you and Rebecca to get everything in here packed up and loaded into the truck. Templars. You and I deal with the Templars. What, they're here? It was only a matter of time before they discovered us. To be honest, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did. Let's go. Nice. But again, that explains why those memory sequences were missing from when I played the game. So what's the plan? But God, they sucked. And then what? There's another safe house. It's, we've got company. The truck's just up ahead. We need ahead. to secure the truck. Hey. Mr. Miles, this is Vidic. an unexpectedly pleasant turn of events. And here I thought I'd have to waste more men on you. Kind of you to save me the trouble. What do you want, Vidic? Home, he says. Home. We miss you terribly. 
There's still so much work for us to do together. It's not happening, Warren. You continue to disappoint in every conceivable way, Miss Stillman. I say kind of funny that he's here in person, risking remember? himself. And this is how you repay me? You saved me so you could keep experimenting on people, destroying their lives. And for what? Oh, this tired argument again. As I recall, you were there, at my side, every step of the way. Their blood is on your hands and on your shirt. as much as mine. You need to stop him. I'm on it. <laughs> Sword sounds. I also like that the UI is still missing because it's not Animus. It's just kind of interesting to see, like, modern day people go down to the hidden blade. Why couldn't there be a, like, actual modern Assassin's Creed game where you go up against modern day Templar people? I, just, I think that would be interesting. Not in memory, just literally Assassins versus Templars in the real world. I guess it does limit, like, the cool shit you could do. But still. Give us back our truck. Is this yeah. necessary? Desmond, climb. How'd you get here, Sean? Uh-oh, Doc. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Desmond, we have to go! There you are. Come on. Help Lucy into the van. Help Hurry, Lucy into the van. Go. You'll have your turn, Desmond. Warren's gonna get what he deserves. I promise. So what now? Where are we headed? There's a cabin up north. We should be safe there. At least for a little while. I have to analyze those tapes from your session. Figure out what's happening. And then what? Here we go. I've got you all hooked up. Got a long drive ahead of us. Figured you might want to play around <laughs> So that's how they explain doing things right, post-game. I mean, what the hell was that in the vault? What you saw proves everything I was afraid of. The Templars aren't our biggest threat. Not by a long shot. So what? The sun, <laughs> the is? sun is? What's it gonna do? Cook the earth? I doubt Hell, it. Hell, even... I don't know. There's been some speculation that the earth... Subject 16 kind of focused on the sun a little bit. A flare could flip the poles and cause a geomagnetic reversal. It's all theoretical, but if it happens, the planet could become geologically unstable. Very unstable. It's meant to be the stuff of pseudoscience, but clearly something catastrophic happened to the people of the first civilization. That woman, was her name Minerva, was it? She seemed to think we were due for a second round. So either way, we're fucked. And the funny thing is, we weren't even trying to get that information. And you can we were just trying to train place. Desmond. Maybe there's more to discover. All right. Powered by so Adobe Flash. Started. How? <laughs> I genuinely want to know how, what is Adobe Flash in this. And again, the music is great. So yeah, for the most part, Assassin's Creed 2 is really, really good. Those DLC memories are shit, though. <laughs> they do not need to be in the game. They genuinely don't. There, there's a reason why I was just like, why are these here? This doesn't make sense, because... In Assassin's Creed 2, when I first played it on the Xbox 360, a long, long time ago, no internet connection for it, or like limited internet connection at least, it felt like it worked. If there didn't need to be, oh, we have to go to Forley, oh, we have to go to Florence, like, none of that. It jumping straight from memory sequence 11 to 14 worked perfectly in the original run. 
quite honestly, I'm going to say if you can get your hands on a copy of Assassin's Creed 2 without the DLC, fucking do it. <laughs> because that was honestly bad. Those two missions, like, Forley was okay. It wasn't terrible. Slightly annoying here or there. But Florence? That felt tacked on to all hell. It did kind of tie together, like, Ezio's story arc of going back to Florence and telling the Florentine people, don't let anyone control you, follow your own path. Or as I said, don't let others control you, merely control yourself. And it's like, thematically they're cool, Gameplay-wise, they are bad. Like, with those two missions... Like, missions. With those two memories included, I'm gonna say, I think Assassin's Creed 1 is the overall better product compared to Assassin's Creed 2 just because of those two memories. Like, literally, if you cut out that horrendous difficulty spike of a two-memory DLC, then this game is better than Assassin's Creed 1. I would say that some aspects are very much Ubisofty. The tons of side quests, like, oh, the beat-up events, the race events, the courier events, like, all of these event thingies that you don't really have to do. And, in, like, and past a certain point, I feel like they should have kind of uh, let up on them. Like, I didn't even bother finishing the assassination contracts because Venice was way too big. And the assassination contracts were already getting just ever so slightly annoying. But, yeah. It honestly feels like the two memories that were DLC... The sequence 12 and sequence 13, it honestly feels like they were handed off to a lesser team. Again, apparently they were released months after Assassin's Creed 2's release, and I don't even know why. It doesn't make much sense. Like, having them there does technically tie things together slightly, but like, I will say, cut out memory 13. Memory sequence 12 is fine. It can stay. It's short. It's simple. It's not all that bad. But the fact that it ends with the brothers stabbing Ezio and then the crazy monk guy coming in, grabbing the piece of Eden, and just walking away just feels so weird. Again, thematically, going back to Florence is really good. It finally kind of ends Ezio's, like, youth, to a degree, because now he's went from being a boy who lost his family, seeking revenge, to a man who is free of his demons, so to speak. And overall, it's decent. It's pretty good. Again, memory sequence 13, though. Bad. Very bad. Again, I feel like there was some kind of homage to Assassin's Creed 1 going on. Wait a minute. Actually, yeah. The hay guy, he was taking away people's food. Just like one guy in Akka was. Except the guy in Akka uh, was taking all the food to preserve it so that it could be properly rationed when the new world came. This guy was doing it because he was an asshole. And wanted people to respect him. And, yeah. So, 
it's entirely possible that, like, more than likely, all things considered, all nine are probably homages to Assassin's Creed 1. The guy that was sending his minions down to fight me while he stood on rafters was probably a uh, homage to both the slaver in the like way the that setup was and then kind of because he was crazy and just wanted to like kill people was probably homage to the uh based the crazy executioner guy then there was the guy that was burning earthly materials like the book burner the doctor who basically is an homage to the Akka doctor just by being a doctor the guy that was chanting, I don't know who he'd be an homage to. Same thing with the Merchant King. I don't know who the who would be an homage to the Merchant King amongst the nine that we were killing. Maybe the boat guy? But, yeah, sequence 13 just felt out of place. It didn't... Like, again, it shouldn't have been 9. It could have easily have just been 5. You didn't need that many guards. You didn't need that many kill them without being seen. Especially because they didn't serve a purpose. They didn't serve a purpose because there was no build-up to any of the kills. So you didn't know why you had to kill them without being seen. Because if they ran, you just could have chased them. It's just, yeah. Sequence 13 was just bad. And again, the mere fact that they went out of their way to make it so the hay guy would basically not go near any of the hay to be stabbed from the hay is just like, come on. Come on. Why not, man? Why not? It was perfect. You have nine assassination missions back to back to back to back and you wouldn't give me that? Ah. And yeah, it's just like, the fact that there were so many guards, that it was so repetitive, going from assassination mission, assassination mission, to assassination mission. <laughs> it's just like... Ah. Uh, ah uh, ha ha. Ah, uh, it just did not feel good. Did not feel good. That is a long copyright year. What would that be? Copyright 2,042,004? I know it's supposed to be like, ah, 2000 and like two, 2004, whatever. But still. <laughs> ah. Yeah, for whatever reason, those wholly unneeded two DLC sequen memory sequences. Again, did not need to be there. They did not need to be there. No. No. An old friend returns. What does that mean? But yeah. Overall, not terrible, but... Eh. Overall, this is a good game. Overall, good game. I do love that breaking his spirit kind of counts as... <laughs> like, getting away. <laughs> we killed him. By breaking his spirit. Is that... And then the mission thing is gone. 
That was so weird. That there was a mission thing there, but then we'd go to Florence and it wouldn't be there. Hmm. But yeah, uh, sequence 13 killed anyone that I would want to go do any of the other little side things. Ugh. Like, I think it just pushed the bullshit meter that I was willing to put up with, which basically amounted to the controls. The control issues that I sometimes ran into of the contextual running being wonky sometimes. Where like, ah, you ran up a wall, or got onto a thing, or jumped off, or the most egregious, when I literally went and was trying to aim for a thing that was well within jumping to, and then the game was like, sorry, does not compute, you have thrown to your death, especially... When it came to the towers, the synchronization towers, that sometimes I would press forward and jump, and the game just went, lol, you died. And, like, not even the odd, uh, like, cross ones. Those ones. At least it happened once. I think it happened twice. But, yeah. Combat was better. Combat was... Uh, I kind of ribbed it here or there. It's like, oh, you're going to first smack a counter me? But the countering wasn't as bad in this game. It didn't damage you. It was just kind of an annoyance, but not that bad. Uh, I do think that having certain enemies be uncounterable... Uh, and they're like, oh, you're supposed to go and uh, counter that way... And take their weapon just uh, didn't really work all that much, especially because uh, a lot of the times that I wanted to, the game said, no, you can't do it. And then I just didn't do it until <laughs> that one nice chatter came in and said, oh, yeah, to counter the big brutes, you steal their weapons. So I was like, oh, that's how you do it. And it's just hilarious that I found an alternate way of dealing with them by just <laughs> countering them with the hidden blade, and for whatever reason, it was easier. But, yeah. Also annoying that the new functions of, ooh, courtesans, mercenaries, and thieves, every, it's, it felt like every single time I tried to use them in a extra way, like, ah, oh, I'm gonna do this, so that I can be extra stealthy and play the game my way, and then the game just said, fuck you. Like, when I sent the thieves to distract the guys, one of Jacopo's uh, cronies I sent to distract his guards, the thieves to distract his guards, and then the guards immediately went, Ezio Auditore sent these thieves. And that just disappointed me. Uh, yeah. Overall, I would say, fuck all the side things, do the main missions, and then... Lament, lament, Memory 13. Memory 13 is just so bad. I hate it. That was the angriest I've ever gotten at an Assassin's Creed game. Was that boat mission. Because again, I miss my poor throwing knives. Oh, because I threw down my... <laughs> I threw down my, <laughs> my stuff <laughs> in the Pope room. So where's my big old sword? Where's my good sword? Oh, Sword of Alteo is right there. I got it back somehow. And then again, all of these DLC weapons that I just didn't w use. <laughs> Dark Oracle's Bone Daggers. Well, I guess because I don't have any. For a moment, I thought that was uh, against Altair's weapon. And I'm missing a weapon. Hmm. Must be from a quest or something. I don't know. But yeah. Assassin's Creed 2 is decently fun. But boy howdy does it have a few downsides. The story is good. The characters are nice. Mainly uh, the boy... Leonardo. Leonardo's nice. Some of the side content is okay, like the beat-em-ups. 
the couriers. I'm not a big fan of the races. The ones that should have been awesome, the assassination contracts, are just kind of eh. And eventually get to a point where you don't care to do them. Lorenzo de' Medici just drops off the face of the earth super early on, and apparently technically becomes an enemy of the assassins by torturing and exiling Machiavelli. Eh. But yeah, overall, Assassin... <laughs> it's odd to say, but I honestly think that I would replay Assassin's Creed 1 far far more than I ever would want to replay Assassin's Creed 2 purely because of Memory 13. The odd, like, uh, control issues here or there, ever so slightly annoying, not terrible. It's literally... It was like, normally I just go, oh, the movement things are just a little weird, but... And then Memory 13 happened, and... <laughs> oh, boy, howdy, does Memory 13 just stain this game. Again, I don't know why they're like, we're going to leave Memories 12 and 13 out of the game. Who knows? Maybe they were... Bibbidi-bee. Maybe they were, like, uh, Christmas rushed to a degree? But I don't know. <laughs> They're like, hey, these two memories that technically aren't all that important to the plot. Let's save them off, focus on the final memory, ship it like that, and then we'll just release the other two as DLC. Again, it really says something when IGN's guide for the memory starts off with, hey, don't remember these memories being in the game? Well, neither did we. Apparently Ubisoft released DLC memories. Just as weird, man. And they felt weird, man. Again, memory 12 is passable. Memory 13 was made by an angry intern. Memory 13 was made made by an angry intern that watched the, the, the QA testers and went, No! No, you can't just run onto the boat and kill the man! No! You can't just kill the hay guy from a bale of hay that he's patrolling around! It's just like, that's the only explanation why you would make those dumb decisions of design. It's too easy! I'm gonna throw so many guards! It's just like, why? Why is this harder than the final memory? Why is this more difficult to do than the final boss fight? Uh, and also continuing the hilarious trend of an Assassin's Creed game's final boss not being a, an assassination. But rather a brawl. But yeah. It's still a good game, but oddly, that second DLC memory kind of puts it below Assassin's Creed 2 for me. Uh, oh, yes, Assassin's Creed 2 is below Assassin's Creed 2 for me. <laughs> I am Le Fool. But I honestly think that Assassin's Creed 1, it's more condensed, aside from the goddamn flags... And Templar skills. Those two things I'm never gonna do. They are so stupid that uh, they do not even register as something to do. <laughs> but. Yeah, Memory 13 just kills this game for me. I am not gonna replay this game anytime soon. That. That freaking memory. I don't know why. It just hits all the bad. All the bad. The targets are bland and only extend in my mind because of either annoyance or, aha, I see who you are ripping off there. All in the span of a single memory sequence. You kill nine random dudes. It did not need to be nine. It did not need to be that. <laughs> But enough waffling about the thing I hate. Overall, the climbing is better. The combat is better. There are cool things, but I just did not use the gun all that much. It's like you get a gun and then it's just like, well, this is an assassination game. 
I want to be stealthy. I still don't know why it didn't give me smoke bombs when it gave me the smoke bomb pouch. Still really angry about that. But... And other weird things, like the bloody guards. Guards just randomly having the blood texture applied to them for no reason. Yeah, I'm not sure if... Like, literally, Assassin's Creed 2 on the Xbox 360 without the DLC missions is probably the best way to play this game. Like, unless you can mod out Sequence 13 on PC, <laughs> older versions of Assassin's Creed 2 may be superior versions. <laughs> uh, except for how that they're uh, getting rid of all the Uplay stuff. So that sucks. But at the same time, it probably does the stupid online authentication for DLC. So if you do have an older version of Assassin's Creed 2, you might not get the Uplay bonuses, but you won't have to deal with the two memories anymore. Huzzah! Lol. But yeah. At the end of the day, Assassin's Creed 2 is probably still the better game, but that end stretch kind of kills it for me, and I makes me prefer Assassin's Creed 1. It's, sure, janky, but it has uh, it has a tone to it, uh, uh, an aesthetic, a feel that is really nice. It stands out a lot more. Maybe because it's not as Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft uh, sandboxy as Assassin's Creed 2 is. But that shall be it for Assassin's Creed 2. Next time, I might take a break from Assassin's Creed... Try a different game, a shorter game, maybe, who knows. But when it comes to Assassin's Creeding, we will continue Ezio's story with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. One that I do not remember all that much. I remember that we go up against uh, Rodrigo Borgia's son. Which, you know, is a, a little odd for a pope to have a son, but a, whatever. And, uh... I know that this uh, this villa gets overrun, and that's kind of what kicks off our raiding back to Rome. But, yeah. I remember the cool things of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, but we'll talk Brotherhood when we get to Brotherhood. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, you can watch all of these streams take place... Well, take place. All of these streams be placed back onto the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, for archival purposes. And then maybe sometime in the future I will be multi-streaming to YouTube Neon Icy Games as well, so something to look, look towards. But if you're already one of those people who are watching the archive channel, you can watch me play these games live on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Or maybe just the uh... <laughs> Maybe just the YouTube channel sometime in the future. And uh, if you want to see some of my little avatar in my little art, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, or Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. And then also, if you want uh, super duper up to date on when I go live, you can check out my schedule on my Twitch channel, where it goes, ah, I go live these days, and I try to keep that up to date for the days that I do go live, and then if I can't go live on my scheduled days, they'll be taken off just as a, hey, informing the people. But if you want a super duper up to date, you can also follow me on Twitter, and uh, I'll send out a tweet so that you can see it for when I go live, and then I delete it after I go live. Oh, after I go live. After I stop streaming so that people don't go, oh, he's live, and then it's like five hours later. Mm, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time when I either play Brotherhood or something else. I don't know what whims shall fancy me. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.